Holy Spirit Cup. The theme for this year is It's Great to Be Kings of Class A. We started off the week with an FCA homecoming rally and a spirit-filled bonfire on Sunday night. The cheerleaders and band members led Panther bands in a pep rally. Mr. and Ms. Flame were announced as they were voted on by the football team and cheerleaders. Miss Isabella Levington was named Miss Flame and Mr. Zach Robbins was named Mr. Flame. The CCHS Panther Band of Pride also voted for a Mr. and Miss Panther Pride to represent them during this year's homecoming festivities. Mr. Gavin Roberts and Miss Marissa Colburn were crowned the 2019 Homecoming Mr. and Miss Panther Pride. Mr. and Miss Spear were voted on by the entire student body. Miss Kara Cott was named Miss Spirit, and Mr. Tyler Moorhead was named Mr. Spirit. Career Monday. Teachers and students came dressed in costumes for future careers. Girl winners, first place, Allison Strickland as a veterinarian. Second place, Keaton Nipper came dressed as the school nurse, Emily Tomlinson. And third place, Sierra Coachman as a nurse. Boy winners, first place, Colby Lee as an astronaut. Second place, Kaden Rodriguez as a doctor. And third place, Easton Rodriguez as a farmer. Group winners, first place, Ty, Dairy Farmer and Cows with Allie Pittman, Haley Mosley, Caitlin Therese, and Caitlin Smith. Second place, Struggling Artists, Catherine Bitten and Carly Anna Vaughn. And third place, Army Soldiers, the, Pan the Panthers are marching to a victory. Micah Joyce, Emma Peterson, Mary Grace Lee, Chris Lynn Nash, Kylie Hatton, and Jada White. Honorable missions, mentions, Freshmen as Target Employees of the Month and Juniors as Huddle House Southern Smothered Patriots. Teachers, first place, Mr. Temperley as a welder. Second place, Megan Stalvey as a rock star. Third place, Lisey Strickland as a yoga instructor. Throwback Tuesday. Everyone came dressed in costumes based on a flashback from any time. Boy winners, first place, Colby Lee as a Nintendo. Group winners, first place, 50s Grease Lightning Senior Girls, Lindsay Strickland, Dancy Henson, Jessica Serda, Hannah Rowland, Cheyenne Mazzell, and Madison DeLoach. Second place tie, Peace Love Panthers winning, Maggie Bell, Mariana Bolden, Lane Allen, Hamp Williams, Sarah Kate Carmichael, Eli Payson, Delaney Thomas, Will Griffiths, and Ashlyn Morse. Third place tie, eighth grade flappers and gangsters, Micah Joyce, Kylie Hatton, Mary Grace Lee, Emma Peterson, Cole McQuaid, Chris Lynn Nash, and Jada White. Sophomores, 80 turns the tables and music, Caitlin Three, Caitlin Smith, Haley Mosley, and Allie Pittman. Honorable mentions, Saved by the Bell, Maddie McQuaid, J.R. Goodman, Bates Gaines, and Alex Smith. Little Rascals, Keaton Nipper, Rachel Stewart, Autumn Willis, and Harley Smith. And eighth grade 80s rock stars will rock the Patriots. Taylor Kennedy, Kay Griffiths, Kelby Hendricks, Thomas Kennedy, Kenley DeLoach, Madison Wilson, and Tommy Montgomery. Teacher winners. First place, Laura Burns with the 50s. Second place, Megan Salvey with the 80s. And third place, Mr. Joey Temperley with the 80s. Group teachers, Lisey Strickland and Charlotte Morris with the 80s. Panther heroes and villains. Wednesday, everyone came dressed as their favorite heroes and villains. Girl winners. First place, Taylor Wells as Moana. Second place, Allison Strickland as Catwoman. Third place, Portia Swift as Catwoman. Honorable mentions, Nadlin Young as Daphne from Scooby-Doo. Boy winners. First place, Jay Sorrow as Harry Potter. Second place, Hazen Grabowski as Michael Myers. Group winners. First place, Gotham City Villains, Tierra Holmes, Catherine Bennett, Carly Ann Vaughn, Easton Rodriguez, Caden Rodriguez, and Zena Chambliss. Second place, the Disney Heroes and Villains, Lainey Tucker, Taylor Wells, Harper Fortner, Jenna Bruce, Kara Kite, and Craig Harris. Second place, Pac-Man, Micah Joyce, Mary Grace Lee, Kylie Hatton, Chris Lynn Nash, Emma Peterson, Jada White, and Cole McQuig. 
honorable mention groups, Alice in Wonderland, Harper Fortner and Jenna Lee, SpongeBob, Caitlin Therese, Caitlin Smith, Allie Pittman, and Hallie Mosley, and Avengers, Thomas Taylor, Thomas and Taylor Kennedy, Kenley Deloach, and Jamaria Magby, Scooby-Doo, Madeline Young, and Sarah Grayson Malcolm. Teacher winners, first place, Megan Salvi as super math teacher. Second place, Lisey Strickland as Cruella DeVille. Third place, Laura Burns as Wonder Woman. Honorable mention, Joey Kimberly as Clark Kent and Cole Henley as Gaston. Thursday was class day. Thursday was class day and the students came dressed in costumes according to float themes. Eighth grade dressed as the Lion King. Ninth grade dre dressed as Panther Kings. Tenth grade dressed as Julius Caesar. Eleventh grade dressed as Elvis, the King of Rock and Roll. Twelfth grade dressed as Game of Thrones. The class with the most participation was the juniors. Teachers, first place, Megan Salvi as Rafiki from The Lion King. Second place, Lisey Strickland as Priscilla Presley. And third place, Laura Burns as a Roman citizen. Most creative class, first place, juniors with all shook up kings of rock and roll. Second place, seniors with Game of Thrones. Third place, freshmen live like a king. Best in class, grade eight, Cole McQuaid. Ninth grade, Patrick Kimple and Will Griffiths. Tenth grade, J.R. Goodman, Ike Smith, and Brady Register. Eleventh grade, Landon Allen. Twelfth grade, Jessica Serta. The high school spent the week of homecoming preparing floats for the annual homecoming parade after choosing a theme to display their Panther spirit. The winners for the various categories of the parade are high school floats, third place, sophomores, second place, sub-freshmen, and your first place winner of the high school float are the freshmen. Youth sports categories, third place, clinch black two, second place, clinch red two, first place, clinch black. Community categories, first place, Karate South Martial Arts, second place, FCA. Downtown Panther Spirit Awards, third place, Kennedy Timber, second place, Jerry Jays, and our first place winner is Homerville Jewelers. We want to thank all the downtown businesses for decking out in their best Panther pride. Can you hear me, Daniel? Good.
Yeah, I did. I, I got all I wanted. Daniel, thank you. 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 The weeks prior to homecoming, each class selects its homecoming court representative. This honor is bestowed upon 12 young ladies. We extend congratulations to each of these young ladies as we proudly present to you our homecoming court of 2019. We would like to thank the Averick House for the beautiful corsages the class representatives are wearing and for the Queen's bouquet. Representing the eighth grade is Ms. Kenley Deloach. She is the daughter of Austin and Jennifer Deloach. Kenley has been a middle school cheerleader for three years. She has been a member of the National Junior Beta Club Honor Society for three years. Kenley is a member of the Clinch County High School Student Government, where she serves as her class vice president. She is also an active member of 4-H, and she is on the Clinch County High School Fellowship of Christian Athletes Leadership Team. Kenley is a member of Cornerstone Baptist Church, where she is active in their youth program. She enjoys cheerleading, doing makeup, and hanging out with friends and family. After high school, Kenley plans to attend Liberty University and pursue a medical degree. She is escorted tonight by her father, Mr. Austin DeLoach. Our next eighth grade representative is Ms. Kylie Hatton. She is the daughter of Trent and Tammy Hatton. Kylie is a member of the Clinch County Middle School Lady Panther softball and cheerleading teams. She is a member of the National Junior Beta Club Honor Society and the Clinch County High Chapter of Future Farmers of America and the Clinch County High School Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Kylie is also a member of the Clinch County High School Student Government Team where she serves as her class president. She enjoys hunting, fishing, going to the beach, and shopping. After graduation, Kylie plans to attend medical school to become a pediatric surgeon. Kylie is escorted tonight by her father, Principal Trent Hatton. <laughs> Representing the ninth grade is Miss Lane Allen, daughter of Kevin and Brooke Allen. She is a Clinch County High School varsity cheerleader. Lane is an active member of the Clinch County 4-H Club. She is also a member of the Clinch County High School chapter of the National Beta Club and the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Lane attends Shallow Fellowship Church. She enjoys hunting, fishing, spending time with family and friends, and cheering for the Panthers. After graduation, she plans to attend college to become a licensed nurse practitioner. Lane is escorted by her father, Mr. Kevin Allen. Also representing the ninth grade is Miss Josie Bennett. She is the daughter of Heather Bennett. Josie is a member of the Clinch County High School Lady Panther Junior Varsity Softball Team. She is also a member of the Clinch County High School Chapter of the National Beta Club Honor Society. Josie was a homecoming representative for her eighth grade as well. She enjoys watching Netflix, playing sports, especially softball, and spending time with family and friends. After high school, Josie plans to attend college to become a physical therapist. She is escorted tonight by her papa, Mr. Curtis Bennett. <laughs> Our first 10th grade representative is Miss Jelena King, daughter of Heather King Wilson and Broderick Cooper. Jelena is a second year Clinch County High School varsity cheerleader, where she has earned the most spirited cheerleader award last year. Jelena is a member of the Clinch County High School student government, where she, where she is currently serving as the sophomore class secretary. Jelena has been selected as the homecoming representative for two years. She has been a member of the Clinch County High School chapter of the National Senior Beta Club Honor Society for two years. As a freshman, Jelena won Rookie of the Year for the Beta Club, earning 81 community service hours in just one year. She is a member of the Clinch County High School Drama Club and the Clinch County High School Concert Band. Jelena has also been awarded the Perfect Attendance Award. She is a member of the Gospel Tabernacle Church of God. 
Sky and Christ Youth Department. She enjoys cheering, watching movies, and spending time with friends and family. After high school, Jelena plans to join the United States Navy to study nursing and eventually become a member of the Naval Nurse Corps. Jelena is escorted tonight by her father, Roderick Cooper. Representing the 10th grade is Miss Maddie McQuaid. She is the daughter of David and Misty McQuaid. Maddie is a Clinch County High School varsity cheerleader. She is also a member of the Clinch County High School Lady Panthers softball and tennis teams. Maddie is a member of the Clinch County High School student government where she serves as the sophomore class president. As a member of the Clinch County High School, she is a member of the Clinch County High School mock trial team. Maddie has also been, also been a member of the Clinch County High School chapter of the National Senior Beta Honor Society for two years. She is a part of a four-man team that represented Clinch County High School at the National Beta Convention this summer in Oklahoma. Maddie has also earned all A honor roll as well as various academic awards in English language arts, science, civics, and she also has perfect attendance. Maddie attends Trinity Baptist Church and she is an active member of their youth program. Maddie enjoys shopping, spending time, with friends and family. After high school, Maddie plans to attend the University of Georgia and pursue a degree in medicine. Maddie is escorted tonight by her father, David McQuaig. <laughs> Representing the 11th grade is Miss Jessica Andrews. She is the daughter of Toria Coleman and Trev Vince Andrews. She has been a member of the Clinch County High School varsity softball team for three years. Jessica has been a homecoming representative for her class for the last three years. She enjoys listening to music, watching movies, playing softball, and shopping. Jessica attends Prayer Garden Church of God in Christ. After high school, she plans to attend Coastal Carolina University to play softball and pursue a degree in criminology. Jessica is escorted by her uncle, Mr. Wendell Cobb. Ms. Tierra Holmes is also representing the junior class. She is the daughter of Tobias and Kiki Holmes. Tierra has been a member of the Clinch County High School Panther Band of Pride Color Guard for three years. She has been a member of the Clinch County High School Chapter of Future Farmers of America. Tierra has also been a member of the Clinch County High School Music Literary Team for two years. She has received academic awards in science and math as well as all A honor roll. Tierra enjoys singing, dancing, drawing, painting, and spending time with friends and family. After graduation, Tierra plans to attend college to explore a degree in biomedical engineering. She is escorted tonight by her youth pastor, Mr. J.D. Quinn. Representative tonight is Miss Katie James. She is the daughter of Lori and Brent James. Katie has been a Clinch County High School varsity cheerleader for four years. She has been a member of the Clinch County High School Lady Panther varsity softball team and tennis team for four years as well. Katie has earned various athletic awards, including the most improved for softball and tennis, the tennis MVP for two years, and two coaches awards. Katie is currently enrolled in the Move On When Ready program through South Georgia State College, and she's been an honor roll student for four years. She is also a member of the Clinch County High School SAT Club. Katie has been a member of the Clinch County High School chapter of the National Senior Beta Honor Society for four years and a member of the Clinch County High School student government. She is currently serving as president of the senior class. Katie was selected as homecoming representative for four years. She has been a member of the Clinch County High School drama class and a member of the Clinch County High School mock trial team for four years. Katie is a member of the Clinch of the First Baptist Church of Homerville, where she is an active member of their youth group. Katie enjoys shopping, going to UGA football games, and spending time with her family and friends. After, after high school, she plans to attend either the University of Georgia or the University of Alabama to pursue a degree in business. Katie is escorted by her father, Brent James.
your representative is Miss Isabella Levington. She is the daughter of Blake and Beth Levington. Isabella has been a Clinch County High School varsity cheerleader for four years. She has been a member of the Clinch County High School chapter of the National Beta Club Honor Society for four years and a member of the Clinch County High School student government for two years. She is currently enrolled in the Move On When Ready program through South Georgia State College and has been on the honor roll for four years. Isabella has been selected as homecoming representative for three years. She has been a member of the Clinch County High School drama class for three years and a member of the Clinch County High School mock trial team and a member of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. She is an active member of Cornerstone Baptist Church. Isabella enjoys cheerleading, watching Netflix, spending time with her family and friends. After graduation, she had planned to attend Mercer University to become a pediatric surgeon. Isabella is escorted by her father, Blake Levington. Our next senior representative is Miss Lily Anna Pittman. She is the daughter of Blake and Kristen Pittman. Liliana has been a member of the Clinch County High School chapter of the National Beta Club Honor Society. She was a member of the Clinch County High School student government. Liliana has then been involved with the dual enrollment college program. She has completed the Clinch County High School certified nursing assistant program and is now working on receiving her associate's degree before graduation. Liliana enjoys watching Netflix and Sports on Creekbox TV. 
There's a reason why we're South Georgia's automotive superstore. Chrysler Dodge, Jeep and Ram. Chevy. Nissan on the east side. Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center. GMC. Coming soon, the all new Walker Jones Honda. Toyota. We've got it all, so why shop anywhere else? Hi, I'm David Johnson, pastor at Trinity Baptist Church. Man, Jesus has dramatically changed my life. And I want you to know he'll do the same for you if you'll give him that opportunity. Attention all hunters. Homerville Feed and Seed has all the shelled corn you need to bag that buck this year. Drop by and load up with corn, shotgun shells, food plot products, and everything else you need to make this year's hunting season the best ever. Whether you're a blueberry farmer or a backyard gardener, we have a wide variety of fertilizers and seed for you. There's no need to drive out of town when all the ag products you need are right here at Homerville Feed and Seed, Homerville, Georgia. Winky's Southern Styles in Homerville is the go-to place for custom embroidery and vinyl transfer designs. Whether it's t-shirts, caps, or special Christmas items, Winkies will make it happen. Go by our location at 44 East Elna Street in Homerville and see Lenora for embroidery and vinyl transfer. Winky Southern Styles supports the Panthers in their quest for another state championship. Go Panthers! Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes right, to welcome pork folks to Clinch and County salad football to tonight. steak, Jerry okay. J's Hog and I'm Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! Decades of hunting and traveling has led us to this point, putting a new twist on traditional hunting. Starting this fall, from the deep south swamps to the Alaskan mountain range, follow us as we chase our next adventure. On YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. 
Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership. Roadside assistance and travel assist for one year. You're watching Creekbox TV. Some trailers, it's got to be a direct line. Tell me, y'all slide over here. Okay. All right, whenever you get ready, partner. Oh, gosh. Uh. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Clinch County football here Friday night. Very special night. It is homecoming. 2019 edition of homecoming. A lot of excitement all week long. Started with a bonfire last Sunday and all classes working on floats culminated with the parade today and then tonight we have the crowning of the homecoming queen for 2019 and i'm here i have the privilege of interviewing her miss katie james and her father brent james and uh i'm sure katie's excited katie's uh, been involved in a little bit of everything here at the high school everything but driving the bus to the games i think <laughs> yes, sir. but uh katie how, how was your heart beating out there before they announced it um kind of but i I was really excited when I won, but all the girls look really pretty out there, and I know that anyone would have been a good fit for this. That's right, it was. But you know, it's uh, it's exciting yes. to win it, and uh, now that you can, you can always remember this. Next year, you get to come back and hand it off to somebody else. And talk to Brent here a minute. Brent, you played a lot of games, not so much on this field, but in Clinch County history, and uh, I guess it's kind of special to be out here with her on her senior year, and uh, in homecoming. It is special. Uh, home, homecoming week's always special in Clinch County, and uh, to be able to be here and escort my daughter and her actually winning, uh, it's, it's definitely uh, a, a great, great week. That's right. Katie, uh, I know this is your senior year. I didn't really get to hear. What, what are your plans for next year? Um, my goal is to attend the University of Georgia, but if I do not attend there, I will, I'm looking at Alabama. So we shall see. Don't really know yet. Well, University of Florida is closer now. <laughs> mm -mm, can't wear blue and orange. <laughs> Come on, don't be, don't be hating. Don't be hating like that now. Okay, uh, y'all. Do you have any softball games next week? Yes, sir. We wrap up the season next week. Um, we play Lanier Tuesday and Wilcox Thursday. Thursday's senior night, and so what we do next week kind of determines the playoffs for us. Are, are both games going to be here? Yes, sir. Yes. Tuesday, Lanier, Thursday, Wilcox. Okay. Two tough opponents for sure. Yes, they're leading our region right now. I think they're tied for number one. You know, tradition, this is a tough region. I know when I coached softball a few years ago, you couldn't take anybody lightly because on any given day, anybody could beat you. That's very true. Um, let's see here. Um, are y'all going to stay like this the whole game? No. <laughs> Come on, man. to go change into something a lot more comfortable. <laughs> I can't blame you. It, uh, usually it's a little cooler, but I think we're having probably yeah. a record heat every day. I and and so. I'm sure that that suit's probably going to need to be cleaned. Yeah. I think it was 95 on the car thermometer on oh, the way yeah. over. <laughs> and 105 in the suit, probably. Right, yeah. Absolutely. Well, uh, we appreciate your time. Um, enjoy it. Thank you. It's well deserved. And uh, I think you're going you're to cheer in that or are you going to? Well, I'm going to go take some pictures and I'll change. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks again. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. We'll do a quick pregame on uh, tonight's opponent. Wilcox County comes in 4-0. Uh, they are in one of their one of their big cycles of, of teams. They go through spurts, and they're in one of those spurts. They have, they're big, they're fast, they're strong. They're well coached. It's going to be tough. Clinch comes off a tough 14-0 loss last week to Irwin County. Kind of puts Irwin in the driver's seat, but still Clinch is going to rebound. I'll get a further report on some injuries a little bit later, but I'm not sure we're going to be at full strength tonight. We'll, we'll just do the best we can. But beautiful night here. A lot of people filling up. It is warm. Fortunately, the sun goes down a little bit earlier, so it's cooling off down in the field. I don't think heat's going to be much of an issue. Hydration always is, but uh, Adam Howard, our trainer, does a good job, you know, along with the coaches, of getting these kids hydrated before the game. It's through the whole week, so it does, it's not a big issue as much 
as, as it could be. Um, but glad y'all tuned in. Just uh, get all your your little jobs done and get ready because we're about 30 minutes from kickoff, and I promise you it's going to be a good one. So uh, we'll look to see you here back in a few minutes. I'm going to try to catch a few more interviews on the field. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. There's a reason why we're South Georgia's automotive superstore. Chrysler Dodge, Jeep and Ram. Chevy. Nissan on the east side. Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center. GMC. Coming soon, the all new Walker Jones Honda. Toyota. We got it all, so why shop anywhere else? Hi, I'm David Johnson, pastor at Trinity Baptist Church. Man, Jesus has dramatically changed my life. And I want you to know he'll do the same for you if you'll give him that opportunity. Attention all hunters. Homerville Feed and Seed has all the shelled corn you need to bag that buck this year. Drop by and load up with corn, shotgun shells, food plot products, and everything else you need to make this year's hunting season the best ever. Whether you're a blueberry farmer or a backyard gardener, we have a wide variety of fertilizers and seed for you. There's no need to drive out of town when all the ag products you need are right here at Homerville Feed and Seed, Homerville, Georgia. Winky's Southern Styles in Homerville is the go-to place for custom embroidery and vinyl transfer designs. Whether it's t-shirts, caps, or special Christmas items, Winkies will make it happen. Go by our location at 44 East Elna Street in Homerville and see Lenora for embroidery and vinyl transfer. Winkies Southern Styles supports the Panthers in their quest for another state championship. Go Panthers! Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! Decades of hunting and traveling has led us to this point, putting a new twist on traditional hunting. Starting this fall, from the deep south swamps to the Alaskan mountain range, follow us as we chase our next adventure. On YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. 
The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Camping World of Valdosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. You're watching Creek Box TV. Well, thank you for tuning in to Creek Box tonight to watch the Clint's County Panthers play. You know, a lot of times we get caught up in wins and losses. But at the end of the day, it's all just a game. The only thing that matters in life is do you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? The Bible says that whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. All right, welcome back, everybody. Still doing a little pregame show. we got a special treat tonight. We're able to get head coach for the Wilcox County Patriots tonight, Mr. Rob Stowe, and he's going to give us a minute or two and just kind of talk about the game and uh, – just give us some insight and uh, just hope that the uh, folks from Wilcox will tune in and get to see a little bit of this. Coach, y'all come in the game 4-0. Oh. Y'all had a pretty good start this year. It's been a good start. I mean, we're still uh, in a lot of ways not sure of some things that we're doing. We're still growing. We're a young team. I do have a few seniors, uh, but we have a lot of sophomores playing and even a few freshmen. So we're growing. Uh, it beats being 0-4, I'll, I'll say that. But tonight we'll get a real test and find out exactly where we are with a fine Clinch County team, no doubt about it. Well, uh, Clinch thinks just as much of y'all. We remember last year we had a dog fight up there and uh, some turnovers made the difference, but I've heard a lot of good things about your players and you got a couple special ones. We do. Uh, I mean, we're working hard and, and trying to improve our culture of our football team and just improve the work ethic. You know, and trying to do something like Clinch doing down here with all these rings. That's what we aspire to do as well, and it doesn't just happen overnight. So it's a hard, hard process, and our players are learning that slowly but surely. We do have some good ones. Uh, I'm sure you've heard about Desmond Tisdall, fine linebacker. You know, I believe he's as good as any of them in the whole state and uh, beyond. Uh, and it's whoever signs in will get a good one, I can assure you of that. But we've got other good players as well. Um, hopefully we can put some things together tonight, not turn the ball over like you said like last year, and, and try to stay close with Clinch. Okay. Um, notice y'all got some good size. I think this may be one of the biggest Wilcox teams I've seen in years in, in recently. Well, this is just my second year at Wilcox, so I can't speak too much for the past, but we are bigger than last year. We're stronger. Uh, had a good year of, in the offseason of, of lifting weights and getting bigger. And, uh, you know, bloodlines helped too. We got some big kids. Uh, but, you know, what I'm really pleased with is uh, we're just trying to, like I said, improve the culture of being a little more physical uh, than maybe some teams in the past and, and try to mix it up with teams like Clinch and the Irwins that, that play physical brand of football. And to do that, you got to lift weights. That's right. Strength is, 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 I think that's the difference between athletes today and 10 years ago. They're just bigger, faster, stronger, exactly. basically. I agree with you wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly. And, you know, we know more about nutrition and mm -hmm. you know, our exercise science is a lot better. So sure. the kids really have a bigger advantage. They do. I mean, you know, we lift weights, and it, and it doesn't have to be a, a scientific too much as far as a protein shake. We eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and drink chocolate milk and get just as much protein as you do with that stuff. So our kids, uh, they, they're trying to do what we're asking them to do, and so that's what we're asking after every workout is to eat and drink some chocolate milk. Well, that's worked pretty good for them farm boys in Nebraska for about 100 years. Now. That's right. They know a little bit about it, don't they? <laughs> they do. Coach, I appreciate your time. Right. Enjoyed meeting you. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, folks, we're going to go back to y'all and uh, let y'all uh, give the give our sponsors a little bit of shout-out and let them know how much we appreciate it. Folks, without these sponsors, we wouldn't be here. So any of these sponsors that are you see, please patronize them. Tell them you saw them on Creek Box because it means a lot to them, means a lot to us. 
Uh, we'll be back here in just a few minutes. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Click Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. There's a reason why we're South Georgia's automotive superstore. Chrysler Dodge, Jeep and Ram. Chevy. Nissan on the east side. Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center. GMC. Coming soon, the all new Walker Jones Honda. Toyota. We got it all, so why shop anywhere else? Hi, I'm David Johnson, pastor at Trinity Baptist Church. Man, Jesus has dramatically changed my life. And I want you to know he'll do the same for you if you're given that opportunity. Attention all hunters. Homerville Feed and Seed has all the shelled corn you need to bag that buck this year. Drop by and load up with corn, shotgun shells, food plot products, and everything else you need to make this year's hunting season the best ever. Whether you're a blueberry farmer or a backyard gardener, we have a wide variety of fertilizers and seed for you. There's no need to drive out of town when all the ag products you need are right here at Homerville Feed and Seed, Homerville, Georgia. Winky's Southern Styles in Homerville is the go-to place for custom embroidery and vinyl transfer designs. Whether it's t-shirts, caps, or special Christmas items, Winkies will make it happen. Go by our location at 44 East Elna Street in Homerville and see Lenora for embroidery and vinyl transfer. Winkies Southern Styles supports the Panthers in their quest for another state championship. Go Panthers! Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. All right, welcome back, folks. Uh, we're here again, just continuing a little pregame. we got Coach Don Tyson, head coach of the Clinch County Panthers with us. Uh, coach, uh, it's been a big week going on, a lot of excitement going on against the tough. You know, this isn't your typical homecoming opponent. Um, 
And man, coming off of that game last week, you know, tough, fought, hard, hitting game, four quarter game. You know, uh, man, we got to rebound in a hurry, you know, and get ready in a hurry. And homecoming's been great, you know. I feel like we've done pretty good during the week, you know, staying away from getting involved in too much of the festivities, you know, and, and trying to just focus on the night. And uh, so hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll play well. We'll see what happens. Yeah, last week was kind of a tough one. The ball didn't bounce our way and just seemed like nothing in the game went our way. So, you know, it's kind of emotional sometimes to get off the deck, but then again, you look around, you look at Wilcox on film, and I'm sure these kids have looked at him and they understand exactly what they got ahead of them. Yeah, I mean, I already knew even after the ball game um, in Irwin, you know, when I was talking to them afterwards, I knew that we were going to have to really focus on getting over that game, you know, because that was a heartbreaker. We wanted to win it. Close game, you know, and it was just ball didn't bounce our way. Very good game. We played very good, you know, and um, so we had to get over that in a hurry. And um, right there Monday, Sunday, Monday, you know, uh, you got to move on. And um, I feel like we did. And uh, I think we got a little better, you know, on offense and cleaned up some things. And hopefully the defense will continue to play like they've been playing and have a good game. Yeah, defense uh, really bowed their back last week. And um, we just had some tough breaks offensively. But tonight's going to be a big one. This is, this is huge implications for um, – seeding as far as the playoffs come and, and staying at home in that first round. Yeah, definitely. This game is probably going to have a lot of weight as far as whether or not we can host a playoff game or we're traveling or we get that first round by or we don't. And so this is a big game, big game because it's homecoming, it's big. Because of that, it's big and because we need to rebound off of that game from last week. You know, it's big. It's just a big game and we need to play well. Well, you know, it looks like we're going to have a good crowd. I think the kids are ready. It's going to be exciting to see. Coach, we appreciate your time. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, folks, I think that's going to wrap up our pregame telecast break with our sponsors, and then we'll be back with kickoff here. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! Decades of hunting and traveling has led us to this point, putting a new twist on traditional hunting. Starting this fall, from the deep south swamps to the Alaskan mountain range, follow us as we chase our next adventure on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. You're watching Creekbox TV. Well, thank you for tuning in to Creekbox tonight to watch the Clint's County Panthers play. You know, a lot of times we get caught up in wins and losses, but at the end of the day, it's all just a game. 
The only thing that matters in life is do you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? The Bible says that whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces, and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and Panther fans, this is Tom Kennedy. We're back. Um, the Panthers are fixing to make a big entrance. We just got through setting off the fireworks. Um, my partner in crime, Alan Hanley's not here. He's still down in Gainesville or Jacksonville with his daughter. Got in a bad wreck a couple weeks ago. Um, so we want to be praying for them. Don't forget to do that. Um, Clinch County Panthers are hosting the Wilcox Patriots here at Panther Stadium or Donald Tyson Field. Um, Looks like the Panthers are coming in, running around the, the track. Tim's making his way in here. He's been interviewing people on the sidelines. Yeah, you're, you're number one. Yeah, I swapped up on Tim. He had my seat last week, and we lost. And so, um, so I, I took my seat back, my headset back. Um, it's not, Tim, it's not that I'm superstitious, <laughs> but I did play for Cecil Barber in right. high school, and there's some things you just don't mess with. That's right. You know? That's right. I take and, credit for yep, that last yep, week. That's right. And so, uh, man, it looks like we got a – Tim, you were out there. It looks like we got a good – good stands are full, good fans showing up. Yeah, we got a good crowd. <coughs> a good, good crowd out there. The Panthers, uh, because of homecoming, they didn't warm up here. They probably warmed up over at elementary school. Yeah. They came back on bus. Came back on the bus? There. Okay. All right. That way you don't have the distractions out here and all. And didn't let them out, and they came in from over there on the corner through the right. gate and ran around. Okay. All I right. guess that's, that's their version of a dog walk. Yeah, yeah. I but, got uh, you. Wilcox comes in, they strong now. They got a couple good players. They got one, one uh, Tisdale's his name, and he is a super linebacker and super yep. running back. So. Looks like you're doing a national anthem, Tim. We'll hold Take on a minute. Mm.
Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity as a community to gather together, uh, Lord, on this field for football. We just pray that you would be with each player and coach, Lord, protect each one as they uh, play this game. Lord, we know in our community there are some who are going through times of grieving and hurt, Lord, and uh, some who need healing. God, we pray you touch them tonight. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity. We pray your blessings upon us, and Lord, that all we do will be to your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah. All right, Tim, they just got through the prayer. I was watching the pregame conference with Coach Tyson. Um, he was saying just, you know, what a big game it was and, and how important it was. But he was saying that, you know, I heard y'all talking about that this will help determine where we're seated and that it, when, when you get to the playoffs and do you play at home or do you travel. And I'm going to tell you something. We've been fortunate the past several years that we're, we play at home for the first – few playoff games and man it just it it makes a big impact not just on the on the games but also the community when these and the further you go in the playoffs the bigger the crowds are because i mean you've got nobody else is playing in our area and you and the the just the splash dollars and everything that helps the community when you can play right here at home and so there's a lot more riding on this game tonight than just just the win you know i mean what it means is is, is going to be a lot tonight that's right the uh you, you, that, you like to win your region because if you win your region, you're guaranteed one of the top three or four seats. You're at home at least two rounds. Yeah. But if you can't, you want to stay in the top eight. If you're in the top eight, that means that you will host the first round at least. If things fall in place, it'll be more than that. Yep. I don't know if you remember a couple of years ago when uh, Marion County upset somebody. We ended up playing the semifinal here against Mount Zion. Carroll was yeah. should have went to Atlanta. So yep. the top eight is, is huge. See, uh Tyler Moore had dressed out. He's, he's been a little gimpy this week. I'm glad to see him dressed out. I wasn't sure if he's going to get to play. Yeah. That's good to see him out there. He's, he, he's, <coughs> he's a huge part of our team. Tom, we need let's we'll say a quick prayer before we get started. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Father in heaven, thank you so much for this day and just the opportunity to come out here and enjoy this game. God, we thank you for just watching over us during homecoming week and allowing these kids and community to have a good time. Father, tonight as we play the game, we pray that you'll just uh, have your hand upon everybody. God, give us... Give us uh, safety as we play. Give everybody travelers mercy as they travel home. Father, we thank you for your son who died on the cross for us, and we give you all the glory. Thank you for forgiving us and, and uh, just blessing us way more than we ever deserve. All these things we ask in the Son Jesus' name, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hi, right, I talked to I talked to my partner a little while ago, Alan. He um, man, we've had a long day. I'd lay down while everybody was getting ready. He called me about six o'clock and woke me up. He said, are you asleep? I said, yeah, I, th I think it was. He said, you better get up and go <laughs> to the game. But he said that, uh, man, just um, just the overwhelming support of prayers and calls and texts that for, for the family and for Lexi. And he said, just keep them coming. That she, um, she, I think, had a big, long surgery yesterday or either got out today or started last I, night or something. I think that last um, afternoon. Yeah. And so, um, so, but that she's. You can say doing good as good as expected. You know, she, she's doing good, and she's going to, you know, on the road to recovery, but it's going to be a long, hard road. Um, well, she's half, Tomp half Thompson and half Hanley, so she knows she's got to be tough. She's got to be tough. That's hey, right. She's got to be tough. And she's put up with her, with her daddy for with about her, 19, that's right. 20 years. That's, so right. So that's right. She's got to have a sense of humor. She and does. Tough. She does. She's got to have a sense of humor and be tough. That's right. But, uh, all right, Tim, what uh, like uh, who won the toss? Clinch County yep, gonna is going to receive. I'm not sure if we want the ball first. Traditionally, we always like to play defense first, but I'm yep. not sure with Coach Tyson. <coughs> Coach Dixon was a defensive man, so he always wanted to play, get the ball in the second yep. half. But um, it's, it's going to be a good one, folks. We're glad yep. you tuned in. There's going to be a lot of hard-hitting action. Um, it's going to take yep. the – going to have to play mistake-free. Turnovers and penalties played yep. a big part last week, and whenever you get two good teams together, that a lot of times determines the outcome. Yep. And um, you know, and Clinch has had a big a big week um, with homecoming, and I, and Coach Tyson said they tried to do a good job of keeping the players focused. But it's still hard to do at school. You're dressing up, you're getting outfits, there's all the stuff. But um, and that's part of it. it's part of the fun. But usually you have a a weak opponent coming in for homecoming, and this this week is no cupcake. It's, 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 it's no cupcake this week. That's right. Um, and, you know, today it gets them out of the normal routine because you have pep rally in the morning and early release That's right. and that kind of thing. So anytime you take kids out of the normal routine, it's not good. Also, 
you know, in a, a big emotional game like last week, it's, sometimes it's tough to get right back up because you're just so flat. Yeah, you know, so, that's right. But I think then again, when these kids looked at Wilcox on film, they realized that they can't slip anymore in the season if they want to have home field advantage. That's that right. So much not only to the team but to the community because uh, ticket prices go up in playoffs. It gets pretty expensive for people to travel. So the more we stay at home, the bigger the crowd is, the better it helps everybody. helps community, like yep. you say, bring people in, buy gas, eat, those kinds yep. of things. And uh, But um, we're getting ready to tee it up and kick it off here in just a minute. Yep. All right, well, it'll be a good time probably to take a break and hear from our sponsors before we start the game. So we'll be back in 30 seconds. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motor home to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. Right. Wilcox has kicked off. Looks like they've kicked it out of bounds. And Tim, one of um, Taylor and I, when we got here, we were watching them warming up, and we were watching the, the field goal kicker try to kick some field goals. And, and man, I I don't I had backed up a little bit, and he might can make the extra points, but they're not a danger when you get you know get on out a little bit and trying to kick a field goal. Um, yeah, that, you know, Class A, uh, we're we're extremely fortunate to have the, the type of kickers we've had and yes. back for three years because. Yep. Uh, there was a lot of years where we were the same way. Yep. We went for two a lot. And oh, yeah. All we did was go for two. We flipped you the know? coin. You never know if it was going through or not. That's so right. It's not unusual there. So, Clinch is going to back uh, Wilcox up five yards. They'll kick off from their 35. That's going to hopefully in improve the field position for the Panthers. Panthers are going to be going toward the scoreboard this first quarter. Caught the ball about the 18, Tim. 14 there, that's uh, 14 is Elijah Tiller. Elijah Tiller on return. He had, yep. a, he had a kickoff for a touchdown here earlier in the year. Yep. But if you, a lot of times you can make that kickoff return or stutter step a little bit. That gives your time, defense yep. time to, to enclose. When they hit it on a dead run, when it makes you nervous. Panthers Tim, win. oh, Katie won, the, Katie won the homecoming queen. Yeah, I, got, I talked yep. to her. Yeah, I saw that interview. And uh, Brent cleans up pretty good and you get him in the suit. Yeah, he does. Lori, Lori didn't do that bad, getting picking right. Brent. Yep. That's right. That's right. All right, Clinch going to start from about their 32, it looks like. Familiar set, wing to the right. Got a snap. Couldn't tell if it was a little low or whether it just missed yeah, No, I think it was a little low, Tim. So uh, Michael Walker recovers that ball, but it's going to be a pretty big loss for the Panthers. Looks like it's going to lose. Oh, gosh. It back it down well, to about the 18. Yards, yeah. yeah. 15 yards now, it looks yep. like. So uh, we talked about turnovers. That's that's not a good way to start there. We need to need to. Uh, they need a little bit more room to air it out, Tim. They, 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 they were trying to get in better field position. Trying, trying to give them a chance. Yeah, trying to give them a chance. That's right. Panthers going to come out and wing left this time. Familiar offense. And there goes Moorhead on the. Is that Michael Walker? That's uh, Michael Walker, number, number four. four. Yeah. Moorhead's number one. I don't. Is he. I'm I don't there. think he's in the game. No, I saw him out there before the game, so maybe it's going to be as needed. Yep. Picked up about uh, six, so it's still going to be third and about. Yeah, third and about 18. 18 yeah. Got old Jimmy in the trailer trying to figure out where yeah. to move the cameras. Jimmy's the man behind the scenes. Chief engineer. Yep. Uh, we're going to sweep right. Michael Walker with another good run. He's going to be up near the 30. Yep. It's still going to be well short of the first down marker. Clinch is going to have to punt on their first possession. And so that, that uh, errant snap, 
proved to be uh, too much to overcome for the Panthers here in the, their first trip down the field. See who the yeah, James Montgomery is the snapper for this. Right. I think he holds on the extra points. He does. I think he's and Tucker the, snaps. I think he's the kicker and waiting. Yep. Good nice high spot. Good punt. Zach Robbins taking in. Ball's ball on the ground, Tim. Looks I think we picked like, it up. Looks to me like Clinch has got the ball. Clinch picks up the Good first. heads up play by Ty, Ty John Gordon. And the coaches go a little crazy yeah. down there. That's that's a big play for the Panthers, Tim. That's right. Uh, we traded fumbles, but uh, Clint, uh, Wilcox lost that one. Clinch is going to start their drive on about the 38 of uh, Wilcox. I thought the guy was going to fair catch it. And then he took off at the last minute because we were right uh, about a step from him. Oh, Doreen, she's all, you're always going to be able to find Doreen in yeah, the that, stands. That's Jamie Spates' mom and daddy. There yep, too. that was Jamie Spates' mom and daddy. Snap up the middle goes to Grady. And Grady had Markavius Grady makes make some uh, some good yards there. That's gonna be down about the 31. Should be second about four, I believe. Good strong run right off tackle. Um, it's gonna be in the wing right. It looks like. Run. Good hard running, picking up yeah, a few yeah. yards. Gang tackling there, but it's like a kind of a rugby scrum there. Yep. Since they changed the rule where you can run in and push the pile, people do that a little more. It used to be a, a penalty. Yeah. Matter of fact, we actually had a touchdown call back against Twiggs County in the playoffs right here that cost us a game. Yep. They're going to measure here. See if it's first down, it's close. Good hard run, good shot. The crowd Young still Panther coming fans in. fans right there. Everybody in red. Everybody in red. There's Wilcox brought a good crowd there. Good showing from Wilcox. They they, they kind of like us. They generally travel. Travel really, really well. well. Yep. Going to measure, see what happens here. Looks like we're going to be a little short, Tim. No, that's going to. No, not a little short. <laughs> Looks like we're a little long, a little and long. we we made it. <laughs> we're on the right side of the sticks. So yep. gotta, yeah. The Panthers going to have a first down on about the 27 and a half, it looks like. Hard running there up the middle by, uh, I think that was, was Gordon, wasn't it? Who was it? There we go. Michael Walker following right up the lead block. Balls back. on the ground, Tim. And they've scooped it up, and they're off. That's the same thing we ran in with last week. Hey, he's not going to catch him. It's going to be a... Scoop and score. I don't believe we catch him with a Kawasaki. No, I don't believe so. It looks like Coach Hatton would have jumped there and grabbed him real yeah, quick. It been a penalty, but he yes. kept him from scoring a touchdown. Stuck his foot out or something. Yeah, right there. Trent could have got him right there. See, yeah. he's just sitting there with his arms crossed. Look here, Trent was a quarterback. He don't know yeah, he was. Nobody. That's right. <laughs> so, clinch it with two early turnovers. One results in a Wilcox scoop and score. Clinch was marching down the field, and uh, so Wilcox gets on the board first here. With about right. 8.45 left in the first quarter. Wilcox comes out in the old swinging gate. They can snap the ball to the quarterback. They can snap it over here to the side. They get a lot of different options that causes you to get out there and spend time on it during the week figuring out how you're going to stop it. They may, not, they may not do it the whole night, but still you got to prepare for it. Yep. So number 12, Emmanuel Carrillo Ramirez lines up for the extra point. There's the snap. Ooh. We got a, do we have a flag? False start. That's going to back it up five, and we'll try this point after again. And I believe that one was fixing to get blocked, it Tim. Was. I think he could have caught it he in the air. He could have caught it man. in the air. I think uh, Mr. Carrillo Ramirez was glad he didn't have to. Yeah, kick I think he was too, because that was that was going to get ugly. It could have, it could have, could have been an injury as far as quick as we were back there. We'll try it again. This time we're going to back it up. So they'll try the extra point from the eight yard line and be held on about the 15. So they'll make it about a 25 yard attempt. Kick is up. And they and say it's good. good. It's yep. kind of a low line drive, but it it counts. So Wilcox. Strikes blood first. Extra points good. So with 8.45 to go here in the first quarter, Wilcox 7, Clinch County nothing. We'll take a quick break. Be right back.
You're watching Creekbox TV. Well, thank you for tuning in to Creekbox tonight to watch the Clint's County Panthers play. You know, a lot of times we get caught up in wins and losses, but at the end of the day, it's all just a game. The only thing that matters in life is do you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? The Bible says that whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. All right, folks, we're back, ready for the action. <clears throat> Wilcox is going to kick off. Low kick, bounces around, picked up by the Panthers on about the 11. Instead of stepping again by uh, <coughs> number 14, Elijah Tiller again. Looking for room, couldn't have any, so Wilcox with good coverage on the kickoff. Now we're going to start to place the ball here. Looks like it's going to be spotted on about the – about a 23, I believe. So All right, Tim, I'm again. trying to – give me a second. I'll talk. I'm trying to okay. figure out how to get back on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know how that is. Believe me, I'm, I'm a dinosaur when it comes to electronics. Yeah. My wing left for the Panthers. Backfield of Grady and Walker. I'm not sure if we may have had a – put that – Play didn't look completely crisp there. Not exactly sure what happened, but anyway, looks like the Panthers are going to lose a couple. All right, here we go. Got it signed out, signed up. Kendra Bryant saying, let's go, Panthers. Surely there's more than that on there. It looks like we got over 300 people tuned in just on YouTube. Panthers lose three on that, so second and 13. Walker on the sweep, cuts it inside, gets some pretty good yardage. Good tackle. He is pounded by Wilcox defense. And Wilcox defense has proved so far to be pretty stiff. Shot of Panther fans, all just kind of trying to figure out what's going on. Good turnout. Good turnout. Like the ball's back up to about the 23, so it should be uh, third and 10. Third and 10. I believe. Yep. Third and 10, so the Panthers put themselves in two long third down situations. Wing to the left again. Going to go back pass. There's a, a jump pass kind of to Darius Dorsey. Dorsey running hard, and he's going to be up to about the 35. I think that'll probably be enough. Yeah, I think that's going to be enough. Kind of a... Almost like an alley oop in basketball, but Dorsey catches it out of the backfield. And that's this something. is a good thing old number three fell down for Wilcox to fix and be a clip on her hands, it looked like. He, uh, that's, that's something a little new running the back out of the backfield. Did it some in the past, but this year we haven't shown it, and we may have just been holding it. So Panthers pick up the first down. They're going to be up to about the 35. We got Miss Martha Blaylock's watching from Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. I thought I was fixing to say Kingsport, North Carolina. That's where she always is. She must be vacationing in South Carolina. Yep. Pick up about five by Grady. Got one down on the field, getting up a little slow. He's up there. Panthers with a good first down pickup of about five, so kind of a manageable second down. Wing to the left. Backfield still going to have – Michael Walker and Grady. Again, uh, a little bit of looked like a trap, but didn't. Just kind of kind of ran into each other right there in the middle. Well, sometimes it looks like the offense doesn't do their job, but if the defensive tackle gets down in the hole, you yeah, can't. Yeah, you can't. You can't get by him. It's just no. A, and 77 is a pretty big biscuit there. You ain't gonna root him yeah, out if no. he gets in there. The Panthers now back to third and five. A manageable. Yardage still to make. All right, we're going to run the counter. Running hard, running hard. Oh. He got loose. It's going to be a first down and more. He better go. He's pretty quick down the sideline. A great cook. I don't believe anybody's going to catch him, Tom. Nope. And that was all on him. Who was that? Uh, number that was three. number three. That was Demondre Edmonds. Yep. Good, good cut back good against cut the back. green. Yep. 
something the Panthers need. It looked like it was going to be nothing out of it, but it turns into about a 60-yard touchdown run. So Clinch has pedaled back in the game. If Zach oh. Robbins' extra point is good, they'll tie it up. Yep. There's old Luke Darty right there. Yep. Right in the middle. Yep. Fresh haircut. I rubbed his head today. He's got a close. I said it's going to bring us good luck. Let yep. me rub that head for yep. you, boy. Looked like we had more smiling faces there in the stands. Yeah, that's right. The fans are looking a little bit better. Snap the hold the kick. Looks gonna like be good. good. That's all gonna... knotted up here with yep. 5:36 to go in the first in the first quarter. Panthers seven, Wilcox County Patriots seven. Yep. All right, Tim, we'll take a 15-second timeout. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. All right, Tim, we're back. Somebody mentioned that was a block in the back on that one, and I think we got away with it. It was mighty close, running down the sidelines right there. Blocking the side, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Nevertheless, uh, it's a touchdown. That's right. It's in the books now. So yep. we'll, we'll say we're lucky. Sometimes we'd rather be lucky than good. That's right. Man, I mentioned to somebody the other day, we need to, the Panthers need to paint their, the, the goal post. Well, we did that years ago, and actually that's PVC that slid over the post, painted it and set it up there because you had to get a scaffolding all to get up there. And yeah, so just okay. And we got up there and slid it down. So, but yep. it does. They sure do. Uh, from the birds sitting up there and all the uh, yep. dirt and all that, they need to be freshened up. Clinch County going to kick off. Wilcox County, deep for the Patriots. It looks like it's going to be number two, Elijah Howard. Robbins to kick, long high kick, backpedaling. Man, Robbins going to be in the end zone. Booted it in the end zone. He sure can. is. So uh, great job by Robbins. That's that's the most efficient way to not have a touchdown run yep, back. Right that's there. right. Take the ball out of their hands. So Patriots from Wilcox going to start from their own twenty. Well, number seventy-eight is a big old joker for the sure Panthers. Is. Amari Hodges, we got a pretty good size yeah. front line up we there, do. Tim. I'm looking for 99, Craig Harry. I see he's on the sideline, so he's not out there this time. But it's like one player light. We'll play this one with 10, I think. He has to take a timeout. Well, the Panthers are going to call a timeout. Had a little bit of miscommunication. And the long run caught everybody a little bit off guard, I think. Yep. All right, Tim. We'll, we'll take a timeout, too. We'll be back in 28 seconds. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. All right, welcome back, everybody. Wilcox getting ready to start their first play from scrimmage from round 20 after the long touchdown round run by the Panthers. Wilcox shotgun. Well, they got a penalty on Wilcox, I believe. Legal procedure. Yep. Tim O. Lee Ellis. Danny Ellis takes it in. Him and Lee Ellis is cheering for the Panthers in Palm Coast. I pulled up. What day? What well, one day this week out here to the school. Maybe it was Thursday. I got to brag on Wyman and his crew. They were all out there with shovels. Man, they were working hard. I called my sister and told her what a yeah. good job. But pulled in. They were doing it. When I pulled out, I saw Lee with her blingy hat on, and she was picking up trash right around on the gator. She was sure working hard. I called my Lori and told her, I said, look, you, you don't need to let any of them 
get away from me. That's good for the, the school system. Yeah, I was worried about why when I was riding my bicycle and he was down on one knee with his arms in the air, and I, th- I asked if he was all right. He said he was. So I didn't, yeah. I think it's, uh, we'll call his quarterback scrambling, went back to pass, and uh, scrambled. They lost five, so they started the first and 15. Looks to me like they've gained about two, so it should be second and 12. Wilcox wanted to pass, but the secondary of Clinch had everybody pretty well covered, so there was no receiver to uh, try to get it to. So it'll be second and 12, about 5.08 to go in the first quarter here, tied up at seven. Quarterback with the read option. And, uh, yep, get hit in the backfield by the Lil Carter. I think he, number three thought he was going to get it, and I think number one, the quarterback, think wishes he might have given it to him because yeah. he got kissed in the mouth pretty good there. So it's going to be back to about the 21. So it's going to be third and about 14 for Wilcox. Both defenses, other than that one long run, have done a pretty good job. Yeah, they have. And that one, that long run for Clinch looked like he was going to be bottled up, and he just popped out. Back to throw. Quarterback looking for somebody. Going to throw it. And it's picked off. Threw it right to him. And we got a late penalty. But that's a pick six, and that's to Grady, isn't it? Yep, that is Markavius Grady. Let's see what the penalty is. I'm not sure who he's trying to throw it to, but he wasn't close to anybody but six. We got two penalties. I imagine one of them's going to be a block in the back. Down here on the 10. I'm not sure about the other one unless it was a hold. That's going to be offsetting penalties, possibly a rough in the pass or one. We're going to have a discussion here to find out one post-possession, one during the play, exactly what's going to happen. Referee's earning his money house here sorting all this out. Yep. Okay, let's see what we get from the official here, what his explanation is. He's trying to get all his rest of his posse here on the same page. Rough in the pass was the first one. Like conduct, no clinch. So I guess one is going to be, I don't know if it's going to be a 30 yard penalty or just a 15. Yeah. Because I'm not sure. Well, they've been walking a long way, so they started the ball on about their 16. 16 and 30. That's Man. Not, I believe that's a 30 yard penalty there. <coughs> I think that's going to flip the sticks back to a first down. So Wilcox. Uh, very, very lucky there. They could be down seven, but instead they pick up a 30-yard first down on that. Yeah. So football sometimes will be kind of a funny game. Yeah, kind of <laughs> throw that at you. Tim Morris and Laura Landrum's watching from Elberton, Georgia. They're up there visiting Kimberly and Dalton. Okay. Right. So um, they must not be watching the son-in-law coach. They're watching the Panthers on <laughs> Creek Box. It's true well, Panther fans right there. They might be watching it in the stands. Yeah, that's right. right there's the give to Tisdale on the big back. He's got nowhere to go. That Panther yep. defense was swarming. Elberton, Georgia is where my mama's from. How about that? Yep, she's from, that. she's from Elberton. Is that the, up there would yep. have the, is that where all the granite? The is granite, it? that's granite right. Bowl, yep. they call it yep. up there. That's what, her, that's what her daddy did, and his family was in, huh. the, in the granite business. Wilcox picked up maybe a yard. So it's going to be second and nine. 340 to go here in the first quarter. There's Alan Pope. Long-time volunteer, helps out with a lot of things. A little shovel pass to, to number two for Wilcox. Noah Hollingsworth kicked it off to Elijah Howard, and uh, Howard picks up about seven, I guess. It's going to be third and about two, I believe. Kind of a long two. Wilcox going more hurry up now. Ball on about the 45 of the Panthers. Oh, it's checking it out. Now, a lot of the teams change the play at the scrimmage after they see what kind of defense they're facing. Third and two. Quarterback pulls it. Hollingsworth, he's going to run up. And he's going Running to get hard, Tim. He sure is. I tell you, Tim, Wilcox came to play. Oh, yeah, they did. They moved the ball up to about the 38, so Wilcox is going to get another first down. Wilcox mounting a little bit of a drive after the, the aid of the penalty. 
Give us to Tisdale on the big back, and there he goes. Running hard, running hard, and Clinch County hems him up, but not until he gained about six yards. Probably second about four for Wilcox. It's like the ball that we placed on about the 22. 2.25 to go in the game. Hands off to number 14. He breaks through to the right side for a good game. That's Martez thrower. So Wilcox is going to move the sticks for another first down. Yep. Now, what number is Tidsdale? Number three. Number three. He a senior? Yes, he is. He's a six foot, 220 pound senior. Shout out to Panther fans. Trying to. Zero eight left. And quarterback keeps it again. Good move by the quarterback. He's shifty. He's inside the ten. Man, I inside think he's going to score. And he is. He made a good wow. cut. Jump cut there to the right. So Noah Hollingsworth runs it in from 22 yards. Good cut back against the grain. And Tim, this is after they've thrown the interception and got it called back for the 30 yard first down. That's right. And that turns into a 14 point swing there. So Wilcox. On the board, 13 to seven. Two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Uh, it seemed like once they got the 30-yard penalty, they were that uh, kick started them because for yep. that they were they were struggling, having a tough time. But that's the way high school football is. One play yep, can get you a goes. little minimum. That's just the way it is. They're offsides by the Panthers. And Emmanuel Carrillo Ramirez trying to. Trying you to give that, uh, that number twelve. Yeah, trying to give the Patriots a seven-point lead. You can pronounce these names a lot better than Allen can, Tim. <laughs> Allen would have butchered that name. Yeah. <laughs> There's a snap. Ball down. Kick. Looks like it's going to sneak and through. And it's up and good. Fourteen to seven. Yep. All right, Tim. There's two minutes left in the first quarter, so we'll Will Cox is up fourteen to seven. We'll take a short break. Be right back. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue. Home All right, Wilcox kicks off, taking on about the 18. This time, that's a pretty good run back, back to about the 20, 32. About the 32. About the 32, so mm. that might have been Elijah Tiller on the run back again. This time he found a little more of a crease and then had to stutter step, so Clinch set up shop there. First and nice. 10 from the 32. Looks like we're going to get a short water break. Officials and everybody's concerned about the heat. So, yeah, these folks Tim, we had a couple of, there's Panther fans, but we had a couple of them um, in the student section, I think. Yeah. Yep, got a great to be king. Yeah. They're ready. Yep. Well, we had a couple of band members, I think, today that, yeah, I mean, they, they were walking in that 90 something degree heat and, had on all the uniforms. I mean, it was, there were several of them, I think by the end of the parade, needed a little bit of assistance and I, maybe they're all here tonight. We hope so. Um, they, they, you know, that that's a, a tough thing for them to do is march in that heat a mile yeah, and a half. Yeah, it is. Especially carrying those. There's uh, James Landrum. Yeah. The top row crew there. Yep, Mr. Morris and Miss Laura's that, baby boy. That Dooley there, ain't it? Yeah, that's Dooley. Trini. Let's see who else we see right there. Looks like Kimbo. Yeah. I think, no, that's not Kimbo. I thought it was Kimbo. That's not. Who's that holding the baby over there? Can you tell? Right, man in the green shirt. Uh, nope. I don't know who that is. Or I can't tell. I don't. I couldn't. I couldn't find the baby, Tim. Okay. I was looking for the baby. <laughs> All right, here we are. We're back. Clint's gonna take over. Wing to the right. Try to run off tackle. Pretty tough sledding there. Not gonna gain anything. Maybe a, maybe a, a couple. Give him a couple on that, so it's going to be second and about eight. Ball's going to be on about the 
35, so let's, we'll call it three. Gain three there. Second seven, ball about 35. First quarter winding down, a minute and 30 to go. Patriots holding that 14 to seven lead. They, they got a couple long penalties after in pick six by Clinch. They took it down and scored to swing the score 14 points, seven the other way. Wing to the right. Michael Walker running hard, running hard. He's going to pick up about six. Looks like it's going to be third and about one, ball on about the, probably I think they're going to spot it pretty close to the 36. Big third down for the Panthers here, trying to keep this drive alive and answer that scoring drive by the, I'm sorry, about the 42. I'm got my, my yard lines mixed up. Trying to answer that uh, touchdown by the Patriots. Pretty good run up the middle. I think he's going to have enough. Michael Walker's going to get enough and then a little bit for the first down. So I think he's going to move to six. Hard running. Put us up uh, to about the 45, 46. Tim old Turkey and his mom was watching from Milledgeville. All right. Watching must, be, must be off at school or not visiting. Shot of Panther cheerleaders there working hard, trying to spur on the team and to get the fans involved. Wing to the right. Given to, that's a good cut, good uh, hole up the middle. Looks like it's going to be number eight running the ball. Number eight is Tajon Corden. Okay. He's been running hard. All right, so that's, right, that's going to end the first quarter, Tim. Panthers are down 14 to 7. So we'll take a short break, real quick, while we change quarters. Lutz Brown Pigler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Pigler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. There's a reason why we're South Georgia's automotive superstore. Chrysler Dodge, Jeep and Ram. Chevy. Nissan on the east side. Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center. GMC. Coming soon, the all new Walker Jones Honda. Toyota. We got it all, so why shop anywhere else? All right, Tim, and if anybody's listening and has the, especially the Lounge and Vitaosta game, scores, shoot them to us. Just shoot us some, some scores from around the area if you can. That's going to set up shop on the second two, and he's loose. Breaks through. That's going to get a first down a little more. Clinch with a lot of hard run, and Michael Walker with that hard run that time. Going to pick up. A good gain, see where they spot the ball. We start the second quarter. Clinch Mountain, a good drive. It started from their own 32. They're down now to the 36, 36. Of, the, of the Patriots. A lot of hard running by the Clinch County backs. Running through some tackles. Wing to the left. Like Dorsey in backfield with Walker. There's the give to Dorsey. Dorsey running hard. Looks like he can get at least gets back to the line of scrimmage. Didn't know if he's going to get there or not, but he turned those big broad shoulders, those big legs, and started churning toward the line. And well, Darius is a good hard runner. He is that. That's going to make it still second and about 10 for the Panthers. Sending in DeLeo Carter, number seven for the Panthers. Crowd in the line, the Patriots are. There goes a the sweep to the right. Michael Walker cuts through. That might be all, folks. He's loose. 
cuts back, still churning. Ooh, good tackle. Looked like a clothesline on him. Ball down to about 11. Wilcox crowds that line. You don't have much help outside. And Michael was able to get to the corner. And it turned into a big gainer for the Panthers. Takes the ball all the way down to the 11. So Clinch mounting a good drive trying to answer that touchdown. Clinch offensive line doing a fine job out there. For 75. Drake Browning, 57. Christian Stevens, 58. Jermaine King. Trying to get some other numbers there. Center, Dalton Murray. There's the, there's the trap run down from behind by number three. Guess who that is? Tisdale. Yep. So we got second down. Lyman doing well. That's 66 down there, uh, Dalton Murray. We got Jeremy Cruz and his family watching from Alaska. All right. I promise you that's not 93 up there. No, it's not 93 up there. Right. Nobody passed out because of the heat in Alaska no. today. Wing left, Walker, and uh, number six, backfield Walker cuts Mark back. is Grady. Grady in the backfield, good lead block by Grady. Wilcox defense stiffening a little bit. So we're going to be... Pretty good third down. Shot of the third, third and nine. Get the ball square on the 10. Panthers have to get to the one, so third and about nine. Clinch does have the luxury of uh, having an outstanding kicker. I'm sure he'd rather get seven and tie up the score, but points yep. are points. Get down this close, you don't want to come up empty. We got Dorsey and Walker in the backfield. Wing to the right. That's going to pick up five right there, Tim. Wilcox jumps, so that's going to make it third and four. four. Which changes a little bit what they may attempt to do here. At 8.52 to go in the game. Number eight coming into the game there, Tom. Number eight is Tad Tawan Gordon. Tawan Gordon, he's probably going to be in or the Or Juan Gordon. We didn't call him Mr. Gordon. There you go. T. Gordon. Uh, he's going to be the backfield made of Walker here. Ball wing right still on the five. Panthers need four. Oh, oh. My goodness. Ball's on the ground. I think the Panthers fell on it. Panthers retain it. It's going to be fourth down. It's probably going to be a field goal situation. Yep. That was going to be the counter back to the. Demondre the Edmonds had a mishandled. Uh, not sure if the full the, what happened there, but we uh, didn't have to get a clean handoff, get a ex clean exchange. So after mo moving down the field pretty quickly, Wilcox Patriot defense stiffens. So we're gonna have Zach Robbins lining up for a field goal here. Looks like he's gonna ball's ball gonna be lined up on about the 15. Making a 25-yard attempt, snaps down, kicks up. And it's good. All right. Panthers That's going to put three it. on the board for – three more on the board for the Panthers. Going to bring the score to 14 to 10. Will Cox ahead. So we'll be uh, – take a break. We'll be back in 15 seconds. Hi, I'm David Johnson, pastor at Trinity Baptist Church. Man, Jesus has dramatically changed my life. And I want you to know – He'll do the same for you if you're given that opportunity. All right, folks, we're back number four for the Patriots. Matt McAdoo back waiting on the kick. Clinched with a long drive and came away with a field goal. 14 to 10, 7.45 to go in the second quarter. Now, who's got the bicycle? I believe somebody's got the bicycle out there, and he looks like he's watching creek box. Yeah. Yep, he got the, I got a he, hydraulic bucket on the back. I wonder if he got a motor on that thing. A lot of I don't know, he's, got, he's carrying his hydraulic bucket around like yeah. they do on a tractor. That he runs out of hydraulic fluid. That's right. That way you don't have to go up to the truck to fill it back up. That's right. Robin's <laughs> set to kick off. This game's been everything that's advertised, folks. Hard hitting. Turnovers a few, but uh, they've they've been crucial both ways. I guess Wilcox has been a benefactor of, of, of 
probably better than Clinch with that, the swing on the, the uh, pooch kick. Ball bobbled. Ooh, come on. Ball bobbled. That's fair game when you do that, bud. That's why you fair catch it. Number seven for Wilcox recovered the fumble. Keandre Faison. I tell you, Robbins does a good job being able to kick it and put the ball where he wants it. He does, he's got a lot of different things he can do. He can push kick does. it like he did and kick it deep. He's pretty good at squib yep. kicking her own side. So I remember Jim was talking time. about it. Jim was talking about it last year. He said, you know, it looks like I'm telling him what to do, but he's usually telling me, say, Coach, I need to – because Robbins watches the film, knows, right. you know, knows how they line up, what they do, and, and knows where to send it to. Wilcox spreading things out from their own – 27. Hollingsworth back to pass, scrambling around. He's got loose. No, he decides he better just take a seat. I Look. tell you, he's hard to get his hand, your hands on him. He's slippery. He is. Looked like they were going to set up a type of screen over there, but Clinch came in and, and snuffed that out. So they lose about five or six on the play ball back to about the 23. And Wilcox is going to have second to 16 from their own 22. Good job by the Panthers defensively. They're trying to uh, disrupt the play. There's the play, and that's I'm not. It's called an incomplete pass. That's close to a lateral, so wasted play by the Patriots. Good job of defense by the yep. Panthers. They were right on top of it. So going to be third and 16, Tim. Third and a third and a good long while. Panthers are down by four. Still a lot of time to go here in the second quarter. Panthers would like to get a stop here and get the ball back. Tisdale, the backfield made of Hollingsworth quarterback. Shotgun. Back to throw. It's going to be a screen, and it's going to be good catch by Tisdale. And he's off to the races, folks. He's still he's on his He's going to be hard to bring down. He's still rolling all the way down to the Clinch County 21. Clinch, not sure if they brought the blitz or not, but a great call by Wilcox staff, and they threw it to number three, the big horse, Desmond Tisdale. He runs it all the way he down to the him. 21. Who so. was that ran him down? Number three, Demondre Edmonds, I yep. think. Yeah, he's one of the faster ones on the team. Yep. So about a 50-yard gain. So first and down, first and 10 for the Patriots on Clinch's 21-yard line. Huge play. Clutch play. 6.45 to go. Wilcox marching. Give it back to number 14. Oh, a good move. He dances. He's there. He's got some elusive runners. That's going to be Martez Thrower. He did a little jump cut there and got out of what should have been a two-yard gain. Looks like he's got enough almost for a first down. Nope. Going to be second down about one, it looks like. Ball on about the 11. Less than one. There's the give. Out wide again is Thrower. He's going to be inside. Maybe a flag a, on the play. It's going to be like a, maybe a holding penalty on 15, back, looks so. like. They're going to bring that one back, so it's going to be second and long. Instead of first and goal. And a lot of times if you hold out that wide, you're right in front of the official. It's kind of hard to Yeah, it's hard to it. hide that one. So Wilcox, crucial penalty for them. Instead of it being a first and goal, it'll be second and about 11, I believe. Got a kid getting sick out there. Yeah, I noticed they had one earlier. That could be from the heat. Had one earlier after they scored a touchdown. Was, uh, losing a few few fluids. All right, they're going to take another water break, break I believe. They're going to time out. So, uh, what are they doing? Not sure. All right, not sure exactly what was going on. We're back in action here. Second 11. Tisdale, no Hollingsworth in the backfield. I think we got a little snap and snapping fraction, look like. Like somebody flinched on the line, so it's going to back Wilcox Cox up a little more. It's going to make it second 16 from about the 26. So after getting down the field on a fine screen pass, Wilcox has shot themselves in both feet. Second 16. They're gonna have to gonna have to go all the way down to the 10 to get a first down. 
I believe they <laughs> jumped that. again. We or late, I think it was a late snap, Tim. Either that or he drug it on the ground one. That's going to make it second and 26. So three consecutive penalties on the Patriots. Back them up. Well out of field goal range now. It'll be second and about uh, 26 from the yeah. 31. Good shot of the crowd there. Student section looks like students. Might not be a bad time for the timeout for the Patriots. Kind of get yeah, things get, get things together. In the backfield, we got Hollingsworth taking the snap. Gives the Tisdale on the draw. And that ball, that He's snuffed made, out by who's that? Him. Number two? I can't. I think it. No, number nine. Number nine. That's Carzell Thrower. Carzell Thrower with a huge play there to stuff that. So. That makes the pickup of one going to be third and 25 from about the 35. So Wilcox trying to catch Clinch in a blitz again, and sometimes a screen or a draw is a good call, but Clinch would have none of it. Thrower recognized it and kept him to a one-yard gain. Hollingsworth is down the backfield. We got Three receivers to the top and a single receiver down to the bottom. What we got now? Timeout possible? Yeah, I think Wilcox is trying to trying to get some things figured out. All right, if they're going to take a timeout, Tim, we will too. We'll be back in 27 seconds. Attention all hunters. Homerville Feed and Seed has all the shelled corn you need to bag that buck this year. Drop by and load up with corn, shotgun shells, food plot products, and everything else you need to make this year's hunting season the best ever. Whether you're a blueberry farmer or a backyard gardener, we have a wide variety of fertilizers and seed for you. There's no need to drive out of town when all the ag products you need are right here at Homerville Feed and Seed, Homerville, Georgia. All right, here we go, folks. We're back for a timeout by the Patriots to try to gather things together. There has been a little bit of disarray in the last few plays, so still going to be a long third down at 25. From Clinch's 35, they marched all the way down to about the 11. Actually got a first down on second down and multiple penalties a hold and back-to-back -back all sides have pushed them back to the 35 after a one-yard gain, so it's going to be it's like third and about 25, isn't it? Long, long. Third and forever. That's right. You got to get out here past the airport, Always I believe. Taking the snap. Going to toss the ball. Half-back pass by Tisdale. Down the field, it's going to be a little it. long. A little razzle-dazzle by the Patriots to try to uh, get back down the field. But I think that's going to bring up a long fourth down. I'm not sure if they're going to go for it or punt it. I see some. I think it might be a punt team there. I think this might be the Clinch punted once, didn't it? There you can see old Brad. Yeah, I think it's the first punt of the night for the Patriots. See who our punter is. Hopefully not Tisdale. That'd be <laughs> a good time for a fake. Short up in the air, short kick. Fair catch call for it. They allow it to bounce into the end zone. So the Panthers are going to uh, take over at their own 20. Be first and 10 with 14 to 10 score. Patriots ahead with 4.33 to go here in the second half, second quarter. Wilcox, oh, yeah, and it looks like they're taking a official timeout. Official might timeout. Be, All right, we'll break. be we'll be back in a few seconds. Winky's Southern Styles in Homerville is the go-to place for custom embroidery and vinyl transfer designs. Whether it's T-shirts, caps, or special Christmas items, Winky's will make it happen. Go by our location at 44 East Elna Street in Homerville and see Lenora for embroidery and vinyl transfer. Winky Southern Styles supports the Panthers in their quest for another state championship. Go Panthers! Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. 
drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family, dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. All right, back, folks. 4.33 to go for halftime. Clinch taking over from their own 20 after Wilcox County punt. Wilcox ahead 14 to 10. Clinch County with a wing left. Going to run the ball around a sweep. Looks like Tyler Moorhead's in the game. That's his first carry. Pick up about three. Third and seven. We've had several text messages come in. Mary Hart and her kids are watching, so go Uncle Don and the Panthers. Cat Johnson's watching from Happyville. Go to Lil. Chris Gwynn's always watching. Him and his family's always watching. There's Snap Moorhead, backfield made of Grady. Runs off tackle, left tackle. Going to pick up about three. And Tim O. Allen, he's watching from down there in Florida at the hospital. Well, he said, thank the Lord for Daniel and Jimmy, the masterminds behind yeah, Creek yeah. Box. It's going to be second, second two, I believe. Yeah. The master down there is yeah. watching. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hurricane Hanley. That's him. He's probably sitting up with his feet propped up in his underwear like Frankie is eating yeah. ice cream. Big big run by Moorhead off the right tackle. Looks like he's going to pick up the first down and then something. He's going to move the stick. So Panthers with a much needed first down. Moving the, moving the stick. Good to see the offensive line open some holes and the big red machine rolling here. First down on about the 37. Clinch is on 37. Underneath three minutes to go before the half. Backfield there we got Dorsey and Moorhead and we got a we got a whistle. So I think we're gonna have a legal procedure. All sides. Okay, we must have lined up in the neutral zone rather than jumping. So I think the official uh, out wide pointed to the receiver that our receiver lined up in the neutral zone, so that's going to push us back and going to make it second and about 15 from the 32, looks like. Tim, somebody shout out to the athletic trainer, Adam Howard. He's been accepted in the Mercer University School of Medicine. That's good. I, I, yep. I talked to Adam a few weeks ago. There's Jimmy and my Here's bride. Here's your better half. My bride uh, soaking up that fan. <laughs> she needs to be in here in the trailer yeah, where it's cool. That's right. Yeah, Adam's, Adam's uh, he, I talked to him a few weeks back, and that's something he's always wanted to do. And he wants to be an orthopedic surgeon. He's worked over there for several years, really? and he'll be a good one. Now, he does a heck of a job. This is our trainer. He's very knowledgeable, personable, relates to the kids very well. I mean, he's just a, he's a huge asset to us, and we're fortunate yep. that Valais Orthopedics were able to get him over here. He goes, comes over here on Wednesdays, on Saturday mornings. He's at the clinic over there. That any any kid that's hurt in the area can go in and, and get evaluated. So yeah, that that's helps. right. Get him, you know, as much uh, aid as they need as quickly as possible. There's uh, Jason Bell and company up there, sitting underneath the press box and the, the luxury boxes. Adam yeah, Henderson, Emily and her daddy and mama. Yeah. I don't see Ella. She's up there. She's running around somewhere. Yeah, there's Mr. Barry. There's the man behind. That's that's the man him. that makes it all happen. That is him. He's the number two under Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's uh. I tell you, he um. I don't. I think I know how old he is, but I'm not going to say it. But he's, he's gotten on up in years. But man, he is in great shape. There's not Jump, many runs that, up and down those there's stairs not, and. There's not many that's uh, 20 years younger than him that can do it. No, uh -uh. I, I'm not sure I can in keep up heat, with him. He's been at her since about 1 o'clock in this heat, and he's still yeah. fresh as a day. Still going strong. Pass by Moorhead incomplete, so it's going to make it a third. Second and 15, I guess it is. We have the penalty there on first down, so Panthers attempt to pass. It's overthrown. 
you know, a lot of times you got to throw the ball just to show them you can, even if you don't complete it. Because if not, they'll pack that box and it's hard to hard to root them out. So yeah, you got to throw the ball. Clinch back to the line. We'll be wing to the right in the backfield. We got Moore hitting Grady. There's the snap. All right, there's a re more of a reverse. And that ball is cut down, receiver number 10. Who's that number 10 there, Tom? Number 10 is Perry Williams. Perry Williams on the run. He's uh, Wilcox defended that well. The ball's back to the 29, so loss of a couple. It's going to be third and about 18. Long, first, long third down for the Panthers. After a promising drive with a couple good runs, penalties have uh, hurt hurt the Panthers on this drive just like they hurt Wilcox. Wilcox was down knocking on the door the Panthers end zone and three penalties backed them up and they had to punt so third third and 18, third and 18. For the Panthers. wing right Dorsey and Moorhead in the backfield nice. there's a snap we coming back to bread and butter our uh, sweep hold on to running and the ball looks like it may have come out however we recovered ball's going to be on about the 40 so it's still going to be fourth and uh, about seven or eight, yep. I imagine the Panthers will probably bring the punt team out and play defense. Got a minute and 27 yep. seconds before halftime. Oh, Mr. Mike Burton takes me. Lounge is up seven to nothing in the first quarter. Okay. That, that was an eight o'clock start, so their, their game's going to be behind us. Yep. The Panthers punt team on the field. Zach Robbins back to punt. Right at a minute to go. Robbins with the kick. Nice high kick. Back. Ball is caught. Fumbled, but bounced right to the another. Right to it. Patriot. Ooh. Ball bounced Came in off. Like the, a... Ball bounced off the shoulder pads of the, of the return man and bounced right to the to the blocker in front of him. So who was that? Tim Wilcox. came in there like a runaway train and just knocked the whole pile down. Wilcox is uh fortunate there to get the ball back. So, Panther getting up a little slow at number six. Number five. Or number five. Darion some. No, it's number six. That's Is it number six? Ready, yeah. Yeah. I think he might have been the one that came in like the. Uh, like the old runaway train. He yeah. came in there moving. Looked like Hanley used, used to do it. 53 seconds to go, four half. Wilcox holding a slim 14 to 10 lead. Uh, be surprised if they do anything open. I think they're just going to try to run this out. There's Jimmy Smith. There's Miss Jimmy Susan. Smith, Miss Susan, one of the grandbabies. Yeah. Uh, we're going to re-kick. Will we have a penalty of some kind? Yeah, fourth down again. So it's the fourth and one. So we may have an offsides by um, Wilcox. Shot of the um, concession stand. Concession I'm sure stand. in about a minute it'll look a whole lot different now with halftime yep. coming. Get warm, folks getting them a drink and something to eat. Fourth and one for the Panthers. 53 seconds. Robbins a kick again. A nice high spiral once again. Number four, Howard. Long run back. He's going down the sideline, folks. Oh, finally clipped. That Robbins making the tackle? I think it was, Tim. Robbins making the tackle on about the 27-yard line. A touchdown saving tackle, as a matter of fact. Oh, Robbins can do a little bit of it all. That's right. Matt McAdoo with a huge return down the Wilcox sideline. Probably a 40-yard return or so. So Wilcox will set up shop with 40 seconds to go. Wouldn't be surprised now if they didn't try to get some points on the board. Take advantage of that long punt return. Wilcox with uh, two receivers to the their sideline to the clinch sideline in the backfield is Tisdale, Noah Hollingsworth. There's the fake quarterback keeps it running hard up the middle, picks up about five. 33 seconds to go. Well, I wonder why the clock stopped there. To the first down. No, nope, it's not. Wilcox called a timeout. Must, yep. must be a Patriot timeout. I'm must sure be. the Panthers didn't call one. No, I hope not. <laughs> All right, well, they're going to take a timeout. We'll hear word from our sponsors. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. 
Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. All right, we're back, folks. Here we are, 33 seconds to go. Wilcox with a shovel pass. We've got a handkerchief on the field, so this one's going to come back. I think we can have a block in the back or something. So all we've done here is just take some time off the clock and probably going to back up Patriots. See what we got here. False start, legal procedure on Wilcox, so it's going to back them up five. It's, this has not been a very clean played first no. half. A lot of turnovers, a lot of penalties, and... I don't. I doubt either coach has been real. Will be real happy when they uh, evaluate this first half. A lot to clean up by both teams. Pretty evenly matched teams, though it seems like. Yeah. It's gonna make it this game's going to be everything everybody thought it was going to be. It seems like 14 to 10, fixing the 26 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Second and nine. Second and, uh, nine, and yeah, this this would be uh, if Wilcox were able to pull this one out, it'd be a huge point increase for them and it, it vault them up very high in the state rankings we got second long number 10 branson owens in the backfield right, we got a double reverse back to number seven he's breaking down the left sideline and he's out of bounds keandre Faison is going to be out of bounds looks like he's going to be just short of the first down Maybe he got, I'm not sure. I see the chain. He must have stepped out right before the chain. Third yep. and one. Third and one. 19, 19 seconds two left. seconds left. So, big play by the Patriots. That, that uh, I guess you called it reverse. I guess you called it reverse. Not sure if it's a double reverse or not, but I think it's just a, a reverse off the sweep. Ball given to Tisdale on the dry, on the. Uh, on the draw play, he's going to get enough for the first, first down, down, but 12. down to 12.2. And as soon as they, they get the first down chains going, that clock is going to move. So Wilcox is going to have to be ready on the snap. Might get two plays left. He's going to stop. He's going to clock the ball. So with 8.8 .8 seconds left, Wilcox downs the ball. It's an incomplete pass. That's so going to be second and goal. Yes, second and goal. With or actually, not second goal. Well, second and 10 from the 14 from the about the 14 so An official timeout is what we're talking about here not sure pointing something over on the sideline may have vehicle with the lights on possibly may have lights on out on somewhere in the parking lot out there it's kind of what I'm figuring there we go, 8.8 .8 to go. Wilcox knocking at the door for the Panthers. Wilcox with that 14 to 10 lead ball on about the 14 yard line of the Panthers. Noah Hollingsworth, quarterback Desmond Tisdale in the backfield. There's the shovel pass to Tisdale. He's He's running hard, running hard. I don't think he's going to get there. 2.5 left. Why does it stop? We got a penalty. Got a penalty. Got a penalty. We got a block in the back. Hold. What we got? Lock, lock in, the back. in the back. Lock in the back. So that's going to back them on up. So they're going to have two and a half seconds to go now. At Brooks County, we ran into a situation like this where we had the ball getting ready to score and the clock started. When the referee set it ready, so I'm not sure yep. if it's going to be a on the snap, if it's going to be on the White Hat's arm. If it's going to be on the White Hat's arm. All right, we got a timeout. Wilcox, I hope that's our last one. They've called a half a dozen. So we got to take a quick break, I guess, or we're going to ride it out till halftime. Well, we can. Might as well take a quick break. Well, I tell you what, no, instead of, instead of that, let me talk about, I got something to talk about real quick. Um. 
Chad Robbins sent me an email um, about hurricane response, and there's lots of information, but, um, and Chad has, has, has made several trips down to, to the Bahamas, um, and we're, I'm going to find a way to probably post it on my Facebook page tonight, um, how you can help. Um, Chad's been down there to the Bahamas, so he's got the boots on the ground. He's, they're carrying all kinds of supplies down there, and he said it's just what you've seen. It's just devastation. Um, and, he, you know, there's there's several ways you can help. There's old Weenie Nelson. I always got to give a shout-out to Weenie. Yeah. But there's several ways you can help with Chad. I mean, you can donate to Chad's Mountain to Sea Ministry. Um, and the good thing about that is, is Chad doesn't pay any salaries out of it. You know, so all the money that you give to Mountain to Sea, if you want it to go to the Bahamas, you can say give it to the Bahamas. Or if you just want to donate money, he goes on ahead and buys generators, buys gas cans, buys things with it. That way, the way he described it is the wind stops blowing, he can go. You know, wherever it is, whether it's local or in the Bahamas. Right. But I'm going to be giving out lots of information. And check out my probably my mayor's Facebook page. And we're going to be giving out a lot of information about how you can help Chad. And you know that when you give him the money, it goes where it's supposed to go. You know, and, and all of it gets there. Um, so that's a great thing he's doing. Like, looks like Wilcox going to line up for about a 41-yard <clears throat> field goal. Long kick is up. It's going to be... A little bit short. So I almost said to him, I, I jinxed this earlier. I yeah. said they weren't going to be able to do it, and then I thought they could. I'm not sure who the kicker but, um, was, but did a good job getting yep, it close anyway. But we've had an interesting first half, probably more turnovers and penalties than either coaches like, but it's uh, just as we thought. Two teams very evenly matched, and uh, Wilcox is going to hold a 14-10 to 10 lead. Yep. And uh, we'll come back here in the second half. and. All right, Tim, and we'll um, y'all everybody stay tuned and watch the band, Clinch County Panther Band of Pride. Um, I don't know if Wilcox brought a brought a band or not, but the Panthers do, and that, uh, that's always a good show. Yeah, so y'all stay tuned and watch the band, and we'll be back after halftime. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! Decades of hunting and traveling has led us to this point, putting a new twist on traditional hunting. Starting this fall, from the deep south swamps to the Alaskan mountain range, follow us as we chase our next adventure on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.
train. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Take a little hint, I can see on the door, I'ma make it work, work, work. 
Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. You're watching Creekbox TV. Well, thank you for tuning in to Creekbox tonight to watch the Clint's County Panthers play. You know, a lot of times we get caught up in wins and losses, but at the end of the day, it's all just a game. The only thing that matters in life is do you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? The Bible says that whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912 490 7142. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces, and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. There's a reason why we're South Georgia's automotive superstore. Chrysler Dodge, Jeep and Ram. Chevy. Nissan on the east side. Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center. GMC. Coming soon, the all new Walker Jones Honda. Toyota. We've got it all, so why shop anywhere else? Hi, I'm David Johnson, pastor at Trinity Baptist Church. Man, Jesus has dramatically changed my life. And I want you to know he'll do the same for you if you're given that opportunity. Attention all hunters. Homerville Feed and Seed has all the shelled corn you need to bag that buck this year. Drop by and load up with corn, shotgun shells, food plot products, and everything else you need to make this year's hunting season the best ever. Whether you're a blueberry farmer or a backyard gardener, we have a wide variety of fertilizers and seed for you. There's no need to drive out of town when all the ag products you need are right here at Homerville Feed and Seed, Homerville, Georgia. 
Winky Southern Styles in Homerville is the go-to place for custom embroidery and vinyl transfer designs. Whether it's t-shirts, caps, or special Christmas items, Winkies will make it happen. Go by our location at 44 East Elna Street in Homerville and see Lenora for embroidery and vinyl transfer. Winky Southern Styles supports the Panthers in their quest for another state championship. Go Panthers! Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! Decades of hunting and traveling has led us to this point, putting a new twist on traditional hunting. Starting this fall, from the deep south swamps to the Alaskan mountain range, follow us as we chase our next adventure. On YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. You're watching Creekbox TV. Well, thank you for tuning in to Creekbox tonight to watch the Clint's County Panthers play. You know, a lot of times we get caught up in wins and losses, but at the end of the day, it's all just a game. The only thing that matters in life is do you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? The Bible says that whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912 
490-7142. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. All right, Tim, we're back from halftime. Panthers are down 14 to 10. Wilcox ahead. Um, uh, I got some. I got the stats from the first half, and I mean the the stats aren't reflecting the score. Tim, Wilcox had 64 yards rushing and 64 yards passing. For a total of 128 yards, and the Panthers had 138 yards rushing, rushing and 12 yards passing, for a total of 150 yards. So, so, um, and you'd gotten some scores a minute ago, didn't you? Yeah. The Nears beat Atkinson, 21-7. Really? And still down seven nothing. Thomasville's beating Cook, 21-7, I believe, and Lounds is, is and. Uh, Moultrie is beating Grayson 14 to nothing. Yeah. That's what I just heard. I talked to a friend of mine on the phone. Um, All right, Wilcox is going to receive. I think they won the toss. And they deferred, I'm guessing. First the second half. No, not a, kind of a sloppy first half. We'll see if they clean some things up at, at halftime both ways. So, so. A lot of penalties. Wilcox has got to be pleased being ahead on the road coming down here to the boneyard. Yep. Robbins is back to kick off, I believe. It's gonna be, he's not Looks like he's kick. lined up to do a pooch kick, Tim. Yeah, this thing's going to be kind of short. Come a low one back to our sideline. Yes, they're going to fair catch it unless it went out of bounds. He's walking off the field, so they're going to must have fair caught the ball unless they Caught it and ran out of bounds. See where they start at. It's like they're moving the sticks to about the 35. It may have went out of bounds. And they just took the penalty. That yeah. That's probably what happened. I didn't see any penalty flag, but it had been thrown on this sideline. So Wilcox is going to set up shop on our own 35. Here's we get ready to kick off the second half. Yeah, no time ran off the clock, so it must have went out of bounds. Clock starts when it's touched by the offensive player in bounds. So, Wilcox, familiar backfield mates, Noah Hollingsworth and Desmond Tisdale. Hollingsworth, the quarterback, Tisdale at running back. Tisdale on the keeper option. Not, not a textbook option, but it picks up 16 yards. He faked to Tisdale and ran the ball to the right and pitched their wide receiver. That's an unusual way to run it. He yep. pitched Elijah Howard and picked up 16. So, all right, again, we'll give him 15, I guess. Good balls on the 50. There's Eric Harris. He sent me the stats for half. He's trying to cover his face. He knows the camera's on him. Yeah. All right, give to Tisdale up the middle. Clinch collapsed. Good hit it. by number and eight. Number and eight in. Who was that? Who was at the top? Eight. Tawan Gordon and I don't know who was the other one. See, uh, I can't see a number. Is it nine? Eight, eight nine. and nine. Carzell Thrower. Yeah. We've called his name several times tonight yeah, on defense. He's done, he's done a good job. They're still going to be second and ten. 
for the Patriots. Nolan Tisdale back in the backfield. In motion. Reverse motion. There we go. A little fake. We'll run the option another way. Tis Noah Hill Hollywood keeps it. He's loose. Picks up about six or seven, it looks like. Six, I believe. So it's going to be third and four. I ran that. Well, he's a great scrambler, Tim. He I mean, he, he's, he's, he's hard that. to get his hands on him. That's right. Putting him up in the ditch. Third and four. Open possession the second half. Patriots have moved the ball across midfield. Panther territory at 44. Needing four for first down. Again, run the same play. Pitch to number two. Number three got pulled in some. Pitch to number two, Elijah Howard. So they've had a little success Looks with that. Like number 13 made the tackle, made a good tackle. Yeah. Xavier Trawick. They've had a little success running that option back to the yep. receiver. Just run a little different. I don't know if we've seen that. So first down at, for, from the 35 for the Patriots. Same situation. They're going to give it this time. I figure pretty quickly. Can't continue to There we go. Hollywood scrambling around, but doesn't pick up anything, I don't think. I'm sure they've got a pass off of that play. They can't throw it to a receiver on the slant or something. It's usually what you have to keep the defense yep. honest. All right. Clinch jumps. That's going to make it second and about second six. Second and about, yeah. You know, that's probably the hardest penalty for coaches to swallow when you have somebody right over the center. Yeah. And they still jump. You're looking at the ball. That's right. <clears throat> Hollingsworth and Tisdale. Tisdale in motion. Pit fakes the pitch. and He's not afraid to run it. He ain't big as a minute, but he sure ain't afraid no, to run. No, but he's quick. Yeah, he is. So he might have picked up one. Be third and a... Third and a, I guess about six, what it looks like. Five yeah. and a half, six. So. <laughs> Haven't run a whole lot of different plays this half. All the variations are the same thing. Tisdale and Holly's were still in the backfield. They give this time to Tisdale. He's still loose. He's still loose. No, he's he's run 87 yards and he's got about eight and he's still alive and he's going to score. Down. Good gracious! He went left, then back right, and then cut up. And Looks like the track some hurricanes taking. He was ran back across the field, ran left, and got hemmed up. Went back right, cut back left, and scored from 30 yards out. He's going to so put Wilcox up 20 to 10. That was just pure athleticism on his part. That is. He's, you see why everybody in the southeast wants him for one thing or another. So. Offsides on clinch. Moved the ball to the yard and a half line. I don't know what in the world happened there. How were we offsides? I didn't line the ball up yet. I didn't, don't really understand that one. So now Wilcott's going to come out. Looks like you're going to go for two, maybe. And that swinging gate, no, no, they're going to line up in their normal formation, aren't they? This time it's more of a uh, full house backfield with Tisdale and uh, Martez Thrower and Hollingsworth at quarterback. Ball on the one and a half. There's the give. Is he going to get in? Give it to him. Is he going to get in? I believe he did, it good. So now that makes it 22 to 10. Wow. All right, Tim. 10, so well, it's, uh, Tisdale's, he's the man when you give it to him. He now he's going to make something happen. He's, he's, he's uh, runs hard, definitely. So we got 22 yep. to 10. Wilcox leads, 8.38 left in the third quarter. We'll be back in just a minute. Lutz Brown Pigler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, 
home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Pigler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! All right, folks, here we go. Panthers going to receive. There's the kick. Short kick. Beating around. Goes outside. Thought outside. Goes out of bounds. Goes out of bounds. Yeah, it was outside. Outside the line, I guess. But. Man, and I got to, got to give Jerry J's a shout-out. Tim, yes, they brought sir. supper for us all tonight. Barbecue plates for all of us and sweet tea. And Man, that stuff was good. I, I, I got out on a plate just because it said how many people, and I counted him when I was counting people and told them. I'm going to take Alan's plate home and put it right. in the refrigerator. Well, that's what he'd do for you. Yeah, he would. He, <laughs> he'd do it for me. Well, you know, I enjoyed it, but now that I'm sat in here in air condition, yep. we're taking turns yawning. So. Yeah, we are. I mean, it's, it's, it's kidding. Yep. Ready to get to the house and go. It's been a long day and a long week this week. All right. Clint's going to move the Patriots back five. They're going to kick off from 35. Short kick, fielded at about the 25. Good run back. Who's that, Elijah Tiller again? He's yep. over midfield. So that's a good run back by Tiller. Tiller was patient. Got all the way up to the, up to the 48. Yeah, to the Patriot 48. He's, he was patient that time and found a little crease. Found a hole and got up in there. And those Tiller boys, can they can sure move back and forth. Good well, basketball players. Well, that's uh, that's Paul Talbert's son, yep. so he's – Yep. He comes from good stock, too. He does. Panthers going to set up shop at the 48 of uh, Wilcox. Familiar backfield. We got Darius Dorsey and Michael Walker. Dorsey runs up in there for some hard yards, and I think he might get a, about a yard, I believe, what it looks like. Got player down for the Panthers. Only getting up kind of slow. There's Lily. There's Miss Carla Daniels. Mr. Wade's probably at home watching on Creek Box. Yeah, and Lily and Chase. And Debbie Barber. Number 45 is down. Who's that, Tom? Number 45 is, I don't know. We don't have a 45. Okay, maybe it's not 45. The unknown Panther. Adam Howard out there as the, uh, our trainer trying to cite some cramps. Yeah, Lily's home from Athens this weekend for homecoming to watch Katie. Katie gilded her into coming home. So well, you, you never come home to see me do anything. You got to come home. So Katie, Lily came home, and she's going to drive Thomas and Taylor to homecoming dance tomorrow night. Well, now, did, did she come home to see her or see baby dog? Chase? Yeah. Well, I think Chase might have had something to do with it. <laughs> She comes home more than she used to. Let me say okay. that. Right. And I'm not so sure it's just for Katie. Yeah. Wilcox well, like must be getting up. Good sportsmanship there. Well, Panthers uh, ease back to the sideline. He's hobbling pretty good. Those cramps are kicking in, I'll tell you. Tom, mm -hmm. you know you've had them leg cramps. Oh, they yeah. Are, they'll cripple you. Clinch Tuck comes back. Ball still at about the 48, I guess. We'll say we'll give him one. It's like Walker and Dorsey in the backfield. Snap to Walker on the sweep. He's got, got room. a good hole, he's good running room. Line, and he's ah, he ran the out. Line. Tight rope sideline. Looks like they're gonna call him out on about the thirty something. A good, good block there. Outstanding. Several block. good blocks. Yeah, back here on about. Looks like it's gonna be on about the twenty-five. They're gonna call him out. Big run there. Moves the chains for the Panthers. That, that sweep is kind of the Panthers' bread and butter play. That's kind of what they hang their hat on in the single wing offense. Offensive line doing a good job. Guards pulling, receivers blocking well on that play. Here we go in the backfield again. We got Dorsey and Michael Walker. There's Dorsey with the ball running up in the middle hard. Runs into a host of Patriots. He's still going. Where they spotted that. Looks like it's going to be on about the 23. We're now second about eight. Panthers wing to the right, backfield now. We've shifted a little bit. We got uh, 
Grady and Walker back there. Walker taking a snap, improvising a little bit. Oh, my God. No. Uh oh, I, I'm not sure that you're allowed to, to do, do that. that. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's going on, Dan. I, one time I'd heard it, one time I. And it's there just for a safety deal, if that's what yep. it's called. Well, he sure cleared him. <laughs> or maybe something else. Not sure. It was both, it was, the flag was thrown as, as soon as he jumped, so I'm not sure. Let's see what we got here. Gonna be on the Panthers. White hat signals that. And we're walking back from <laughs> long way. He's That's almost a, he's almost to Argyle. I mean almost to DuPont. He yeah. needs to stop now. There's there's a Tresman in it. Yeah, I believe it is. There's Tresman there. Tresman Marshall last year uh, running back now at University of Georgia. Playing football up there. Yeah, we got there he is. There's more head on the sweep, and he's in the open, folks, and I think they're not going to catch him. That's going to bring it close for the Panthers. That's going to cut it to 22 to 16 and counting. So there's that sweep that the Panthers are noted for. They caught uh, the Wilcox Patriots overshifted to the opposite side, and once Moorhead hits that corner, not many people are going to catch him. Wait a minute now. Locking the back on the Panthers. Oh, so that's come be, on. That's going to negate about a 23-yard touchdown. That's two run. touchdowns. Yep, it Those is. that called back. Exactly right. Get it. Look and see where that flag is thrown. That's Tyson wanting an explanation. Coach Tyson doesn't look very happy. Ball still at the 23. I'm not sure the ball's still at the 23. Unless, okay, it, it was, I, don't, I don't understand. Because they got the sticks down at about the 12. There's the sweep again. More hit cuts back against the grain. It's going to be the same thing, folks. Stiff arm somebody. He's out of bounds on about the 11. He's been must letting Moorhead rest up. They've got him. He's running pretty hard. He is. He made. He, he started sweep. Yep. Cut back against the grain and got a lot of that on his own. So ball's going to be on about the 12. He might have went to the coach and said, "Okay, now. Yeah. It's I'm just this time. Put I'm me. Ready. Maybe the 16 there." Tresman telling them what to do. Ball's on about the 14, I guess. So not quite as long as we thought. More hit on the on the move again, but number eight for the Patriots. Abe Stowe well, came up. I'd, I'd like to, at, the, at the shape Tresman's in now. I'd like to see him put on that Panthers uniform and run against some Class A ball yeah. players. Yeah, he's a uh, <coughs> he's a. Uh, Pretty, it's pretty impressive. Looking. Yeah, they've got him in, in pretty good shape now. Yeah, he's sitting on that training table and getting plenty of yep. good nutrition. And ball on about the uh, 15, more head in the backfield along with Darius Dorsey, and there's a sweep the other way. They we're were sitting have, on it, Tim. We've just been giving them a steady dose of that sweep. And had positive yards for the most part. So we're looking at the ball's going to be on about the uh, – 13, so the third and 12. I don't understand how the spot of that on that, the, the uh, block in the back on the touchdown run, how we ended up in the first down at the at the 12. Nevertheless, that's where we're at, third and 12. Ball on about the 13. Then it's going to flop the defense, the offensive backfield back, and we got all kinds of movement. Have time timeout. What do we got? Must have a timeout call. All right, Tim. We'll, they're going to take one. We will too. We'll be back in 20 seconds. You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. There's a reason why we're South Georgia's automotive superstore. Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. 
Chevy. Nissan on the east side. Walker Jones used car mega center. GMC. Coming soon, the all new Walker Jones Honda. Toyota. We've got it all, so why shop anywhere else? Hi, I'm David Johnson, pastor at Trinity Baptist Church. Man, Jesus has dramatically changed my life. And I want you to know he'll do the same for you if you're given that opportunity. Third down and 12 for the Panthers, ball on the 13-yard line. All right, folks, we're back here. 4.57 to go here in the third quarter. Clinch trailing 22 to 10. Patriots in the lead. Clinch with the ball on the Patriot 13, third and 12. Backfield, there is Moorhead and Ganey. Wing right. Here we go. They're going to throw it. Ball thrown. Incomplete. Threw it low, Tim. Threw it low. Had somebody in the back of the end zone waving, but. More head with the attempt. So now it's going to be fourth and 12 from the 13. See what Clinch County is going to do. They're going to try to get three out of this. Looks like and I see Zach Robbins coming yep. out. So Panthers drive stalls inside the red zone. Try to get some points on the board. Trailing by 12. Robbins going to set the ball just to the right, inside the right hash. About a 31 yard attempt. There's the snap. Kick. It's up. Low line drive. Oh, that's good, it's though. Be good. It went through. Oh, that's going to be 13 and 22. That's right. Big kick there. Points on the board. Any drive you get points is, is a positive thing. So we're going to take a, a break here. Well, we got three minutes. instead of seven. But that's like right. you said, anything's positive points is a good thing. Uh, three more than we had. Yep. All right. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Attention all hunters. Homerville Feed and Seed has all the shelled corn you need to bag that buck this year. Drop by and load up with corn, shotgun shells, food plot products, and everything else you need to make this year's hunting season the best ever. Whether you're a blueberry farmer or a backyard gardener, we have a wide variety of fertilizers and seed for you. There's no need to drive out of town when all the ag products you need are right here at Homerville Feed and Seed, Homerville, Georgia. Folks, we're back. Clint's just scored to cut it at 22 13, 450 to go in the third quarter. <clears throat> Panthers need a good stand here, get the ball back. Starting to get a little bit late in the game, even though there's still another quarter and a half. But as quickly as high school ball goes, people are going to be running the ball and this clock's going to fly. So, big defensive stand for the Panthers and on the opposite side. It's a big offensive possible drive. Poots another kick Poots again. kicking. Ball he hits. knows right where to kick it. Look Ball at there. It's on about the 23, and a, he is surrounded quickly. So Robin's doing a good job of finding a hole just to drop that thing down into. And we got Patriots slow to get up. That's number two, Elijah Howard, and I think he's hit by just about everybody. Everybody on the, on the team. And we have another flag. Let's see, it's been kind of a block in the back. Man, there's been a dozen of those. That's right. It's, this is a. I've seen a lot of those this year. I don't know if that's a point of emphasis this year. They're supposed to be looking at or I'm not sure. But anyway, that's going to mark the Patriots back. And they're going to have some field position near their goal line. It's going to put them back to about the 11. So they're going to set up shop at their own 11. Clinch's defense looks energized after the points on the board and then they're kicking them deep into a hole here. Let's 
backfield for the Patriots is Noah Hollingsworth. Martez thrower in motion. Motion man, and we run the, the give on the option, and uh, he's not going to get much here, maybe a yard or two. Pence defended it well. Number 13 getting up off the bottom of the pile, Tom. Hoover. Yep, 13 is um, Xavier Trawick. You look at the defensive front for Clinch, 99, Craig Harris, and 78. Big 78, who is he now? Yeah, number 78 is um, he's Amari Hodges. Hodges. Amari Hodges, that's the 99, thing. Craig Harris. I mean, that's a lot of. That's, that's too big. That's, that's two boulders there you're trying yeah. to move. I think we had a miscommunication there. Everybody told one to go except the center. So that's going to march them back five more, half the distance to the goal, probably. Will it be a full five? That'll put them back to about uh, the eight. Yep. So we're getting back close enough for that quarterback to reach back, get him a hamburger from the concession yep. stand. Yep. Motion again. Don't read it. He's going to try to get outside. He gets a little bit. He's moving up the field. Good run. By the Patriots, number 14, Martez Thrower. Gets the Patriots from the back against the wall. Moves the ball up to about the 16-yard line, looks like. So they're within range of a first down now. Third and about five, I believe. They better go. They're going to get a delay of game. Say, they better hurry. They've been by here for five minutes. Like he left time. early. Hollingsworth looking, 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 looking. Going to toss the ball up. To How did he miss that one? To number 26. He just hit him. He was standing there to hit him Cameron in his hands, Patterson. Tim. Yeah, he was behind the first down marker as well. So, big break for the Panthers at a, a wide open Patriot. Couldn't hang on to that one. And Wilcox is going to have to punt the ball away. Panther defense did its job. A lot of gang tackling on that drive. Patriots going to punt from about their own five. Should give Clinch good field position. Clinch a deep man set up on about the 35. There's the kick. Nope. All taken by Moorhead. He is surrounded when he picks it up at about yep. 45. So and it took a pretty. It's a high bounce. It was pretty. It landed right there. I thought he was fixing to go with it, and he just he didn't have anywhere to go. Hung in the air a little <coughs> bit too long yep. on that bounce. Moorhead's wanting to make something happen, though. You know, he's he's trying. Long Running run. hard. Long to 46. Panthers take over. 2:54 to go. Here in the third quarter, Clinch County trailing 22-13. Wilcox County with the lead. Coming to the ball, Panthers in a wing left. Backfield's going to be Grady and Michael Walker, I believe. Walker running the sweep. There's the bread and butter. And like I said, they run that all the time, and Walker picks up a good game. Finally run out of bounds. They've been able to outflank. Clinch has been able to outflank. Wilcox the last four or five times they've run that. That's going to move the sticks up, and the ball is going to be placed on about the 30, 37. Yep. All right, you can see, Tim, we got two minutes and 48 seconds left to go in the third quarter. It yeah. seems like the third quarter is taking forever. Yeah, it looks like ahead. trying to get the fans, a lot the of student penalties. section, hyped up. A lot of penalties. All right, looks like we had another penalty here. False start on the Panthers. Must be our turn now. And I'm, I'm ready to see how many yards and penalties both teams have. Well, you know it's already cost about three touchdowns. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to push it back to about the 42. First and 15 for Clinch. Wing to the right for the Panthers. Looks like Michael Walker again on that sweep. He cuts outside. 
Got good yardage. Fine Ooh. job of running him down there by number four. Matt McAdoo, that's probably a, a touchdown saving tackle because there wasn't anybody else in front of him yep. but the official. Good pickup by Mike Walker on that long first down play. It's going to make it second and one, ball on about the 28. So big pickup, pickup of about 15. Walker in the backfield, here comes the sweep the other way. No, that's Moorhead, I'm sorry. Moorhead trying to go sweep left. And I think he may have lost a little bit. Like he lost maybe a yard, so we got third and about two. Underneath two minutes here in the third quarter. A lot of folks on Clinton's sideline starting to get a little bit anxious now. Getting late in the game, Panthers are still trailing by nine. Backfield, we got Moorhead and Grady. Moorhead hit up the middle. He's going to have enough. For the still first going. And some. He's marching, driving, driving. Gets down inside the 20. Uh, it could be a good thing keeping Moorhead fresh in the first half. Now he's his legs are much fresher. Yep. It's the first down for the Panthers inside the 20 to about the 18. Starting to see some hands on hips for the. Wilcox, sometimes that's a sign of being a little bit fatigued. This has been kind of a long drive with the penalties and whatnot. More hit again. There we go, sweep again. He cuts inside. Looking for some running room. Finds a little bit. Looks like there's some good blocking going on on the offensive line, Tim. Yeah. You... We're starting to win that battle yep. up front. That's that's the whole key. If you can win that, the, win a line of scrimmage. Uh, team that wins the line of scrimmage generally decides who's going to be successful and who's not. Second about five on about 13. We're inside a minute now of the third quarter. It's trying to cut the, the nine point deficit. A wing left, Dorsey, Moorhead, he cuts inside. He kind of, he's still moving. He's down, he's down inside the five. Still going. Like he's down about the four yard line. That's a very impressive run right there. Keeping his legs moving, that Panthers kept the pile moving. 26 seconds. You can see the fans on left, the feet. And left in the third quarter, that's right. A lot of electricity in the grandstand. Ball's on about the three, I believe. Clock running, not sure if we get another playoff this quarter or not. We have to hurry if we are. We're gonna set it at the five. The first and goal from the five. Dorsey and Moorhead, wing left. We're going to snap the ball to Dorsey, direct snap to Dorsey, trying to get a surprise on the defense. He ran right into the teeth of the defense, so when they were able to hem him up, and that's going to end the third quarter. Ball is going to be on about the four. We played three here in Homerville, Clinch County trailing Wilcox 22 to 13. Yeah, we'll take a short break while they swap sides, Tim. Winky's Southern Styles in Homerville is the go-to place for custom embroidery and vinyl transfer designs. Whether it's t-shirts, caps, or special Christmas items, Winky's will make it happen. Go by our location at 44 East Elna Street in Homerville and see Lenora for embroidery and vinyl transfer. Winky's Southern Styles supports the Panthers in their quest for another state championship. Go Panthers! Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. All right, folks, we're back here starting the fourth and final quarter. Clinch driving it on the Patriot 3, trying to stick one in, trailing by nine. This is offensive line doing a good job. Backs are running extremely hard. A lot of yards after contact, so what you'd like to see. A 
P. John Craig Harris there walking down the sideline. I know P. John's probably talking about the Gators. I guarantee it. All right, we got wing to the right. Backfield is going to be Dorsey and Grady. Snap Dorsey's going to go. I mean, Moorhead goes straight ahead. Three-yard touchdown off the right tackle. That's going to cut it to 22-19. Four seconds into the fourth quarter. Didn't take, didn't take long to score. No, Put some points on the board in the fourth quarter. No, maybe, no. maybe the fourth quarter is going to be clinches. That last run right there was pretty easy. I was starting to see some, like some fatigued Patriots out there. They've been, they've been having their hands full with clinch offense. Zach Robbins going to try to bring it to within two. Panthers within two. There's a snap, and kick. Looks like it's true. All right, Tim, that's 22 to 20 22. to 22. So we'll be back in just a minute. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! All right, here we go. Kick off after the Panthers score. 22-20 early in the fourth quarter. Panthers have been... It's like Robbins is going back a little deeper this time. He's going to kick it a little deeper and not, not give him field position, I believe. Robbins just kicked it in the end zone last time he tried to kick it deep. So. Long kick, long kick. It's going to be over his head. Ball's going All to land. the way in the end zone. Ball landed deep in the end zone. Yep. Great kick by Robbins. So, Patriots are set up shop at their own 20. Pitch bouncing around. They look a little fresher right now than they did the last earlier in the quarter. Oh, Hurricane Hanley's texting me. He's down there listening to us. He's critiquing me. Telling me what all I need to be saying, what all I need to be doing. Right, Patriots three <coughs> receivers to the right. Man in motion, Hollingsworth and Tisdale in the backfield. They're going to give it to Tisdale off tackle. He's searching for a place, but he's he's run down by. Who is that? What six. number that's is that? Is that number six? That's yep, that's Grady. Grady snuffed that one out. And it's like it's going to be a loss for the Patriots. Anytime you get a running back going east and west instead of north and south, that's good for the defense. Yeah. It's time to get there. And Fine job, Tisdale going out. We're going to have a new backfield mate for Hollingsworth. Looks like it's going to be number 14. Martez thrower. Uh-oh, we had... Ball on the ground. Bad exchange. Like Hollingsworth wanted to give it to thrower, and thrower wasn't sure he was going to do that, so wasted down, so that's going to make it even farther for the Patriots. <coughs> Patriots are starting to self-destruct a little bit here. It's all the way back to the 14. They started on the 20. So it's going to be third and about 16. Back deep in their own territory. Here comes the blitz. Darius Dorsey throws it over. Receiver's head, so that, that blitz right up the A gap. So nobody pick him up. Yep. Well, Looks like we've had a little shift in momentum, Tim. Yeah. The Panthers are getting That's fired right. up. Like I said, the the defensive and offensive line, the scrimmage are winning. The Panthers are winning on both sides. Panthers should should set up shop. Good field position. Patriots We've got plenty of time left in the fourth quarter. Ten minutes, thirty-eight seconds left to go. That old Zebulon. 
Deb Johnson played for us a few years ago. He's, yep. He was fast as lightning. Tisdale with a low, low kick, punt. short kick. Takes a Panther roll. Oh, rolls dead on about the 42, so Panthers going to have great field position. All right, and that's what they've been wanting, Tim, just to get the ball back. Looking to get the regain. regain. I don't think we've, we had the, yeah, we had the first lead of the game, didn't we? Yep. <clears throat> Doesn't matter who leads first, it's who leads last. That's right. Like, like Jim Dixon's daddy, Mr. Toddy, said the most unimportant thing in a football game is to score at halftime. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> All right, wing left. Moorhead and Grady in the backfield. The one that's the sweep. He had to be there. offside. There's the power play off tackle. Picks up about eight. Good surge by the line. Good uh, lead blocking in there. He picks up down to about the 37. About pick up about five. Grady coming out. Forehead coming out. Michael Walker and Darius Dorsey will be the backfield tandem for the Panthers. Wing to the right. Two blocking backs to the right. Dorsey with the ball right up, right off tackle. He's still running. Still going. Still rolling. Whistling him dead just about at the first down marker. See if he got it or not. It's going to be close. We're going to have third and about one. Wing right again. Michael Walker. Right up the middle. I, I believe he, he stretched it. out there and got I it. I think Tim. he got it. If he didn't, I'm sure we're in four down territory. So, he just wants to take the lead. It'll be a mighty long field goal. First down. Yep, first for down for the Panthers. Good second effort. Got that. Michael Walker's second effort. Uh, move the chains, move the stick. Got a new set of downs for the Panthers. 9 12 to go. Panthers still trailing by two. This is where it helps being at home and homecoming. The, pan the fans are, the stands are full and the Panthers are getting rowdy and it's really helping the Panthers we get some there. momentum going. Moorhead and Grady in the backfield. Here comes the counter back to the inside, and he's gone. Got touched one time, he's Tim. Gone. Great call. Great call by Coach Morgan. That's going to be number three. Demondre Edmonds. Demondre Edmonds. For we the had, touchdown. We hadn't run that counter in a, in oh, a long time. Was there time. a flag in the backfield? We've been setting him up with or the sweep. Or is it a flag? We've been setting him up with the sweep, and then we come back against the grain and misdirection, and it opened up just like – you, you draw it up on the board, so yep. the Panthers regain the lead, 26-22. Must not have been a flag. I thought I saw a flag. Panthers going to line up and go for two. Got to do something here. We're using too many bodies. We may, uh, may end up taking a penalty if we're not careful. Panthers going to go for two. We're going to have to take a timeout. What? Yeah, we're going to take a timeout and talk about it. Uh, it's 26-22. All right, yeah, if they're going to take a timeout, Tim, I thought we'll we had to. My just, bad, man. Just a few seconds. <laughs> Decades of hunting and traveling has led us to this point, putting a new twist on traditional hunting. Starting this fall, from the deep south swamps to the Alaskan mountain range, Follow us as we chase our next adventure on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Me and Tim was having algebra. Yeah. We going on, had to, adding and subtracting, I, carrying our toes. I was just short of taking my shoes off. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, take, take shoes off, count with your toes. I didn't want you to see them gator claws I got for feet, though, so. I hear you. Panthers going to go for two and give them a touchdown lead. Moorhead running off tackle. He's in there. He's in there easily. So 28-22. And that offensive line is just, is. just, just see. taking control of the ball game now over the defense. We'll have a water break here. Yep. Official. 
All right, Tim, well, we'll take another break. We'll be back in 27 seconds. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Tim, we got a, I got a text from Mr. Burton. The Lounge is winning 13 to nothing in the third quarter. That's, uh, I figured there'd be more points scored than that. Defense must be standing up there. Here we go, folks. We've got 8.56 left. Clinch County just regained the lead with a long Montre Edmonds touchdown run, a two-point conversion by Tyler Moorhead. So Clinch leads by six. Zach Robbins going to tee it up. Last time he had a long booming kick that was not returnable. It kicked well into the end zone. Good, good picture of the There's Panther the Panthers. Now. Bubba King up there. They're excited. Bubba made it to the top. Long kick by Robbins. Man, right. The end zone again. Every time he's kicked, the long kick job. is going in the it's end zone, long Tim. One. It sure has. It sure has. Patriots set up shop at their 20. They looked awfully tired on defense. Panthers, it's just a matter of who wants it the most here. Battle of the wheels here. Wilcox looking at the sideline for the play. Looks like it's going to be Hollingsworth, quarterback, Tisdale at running back. Allen said this is a good point if you know any heroin stories to throw one in there on him. <laughs> Give to Tisdale. He's off tackle. He's got some running room. He's all the way up to about the 28. Pick up of eight. First really positive play for the Patriots in several plays. Same backfield, Tisdale and Hollingsworth. Hollingsworth stump fumbles the ball, like he was going to give it give it to <clears throat> Tisdale or try to read something. Lost the handle, able to scramble back maybe to the line of scrimmage. Third and two now. No flag call. Clinch, Clinch jumps at the line of scrimmage, but didn't break the neutral zone. Wilcox looking for a play. Better hurry. That'll be called, get called for delay game. Feel hurry. There it is. On the give to Tisdale, he's off right tackle, and he's going to get the first down and in. Oh, he's, he's, on, he's on the corner, stumbles and falls. But not until he picks up about 15 yards, 16 yards. Got him up to about the 45, wasn't it, Tim? Yeah, looks like he was just fixing to. No, about the 48. Yeah. Like he's fixing to lower the shoulder on somebody and try to move on. But big pickup on third down keeps the drive alive. 7.38 left. Clinch with a six point lead. After trailing earlier in the quarter by nine, they now have a six point lead. Back to back touchdowns and a two point conversion scored by the Panthers. Hollingsworth, the quarterback, number 14, thrower in the backfield with him. There's the toss sweep. Thrower on the run. Turn, makes the corner. Picks up about four. Like both teams are starting to get a little winded now. Yeah, they're not getting to the corner as quick as they were. No, neither team. That's where condition is a big factor. It's been kind of warm this week. Feels pretty good out there, but still. Yeah, it cool. seemed like it was cooling down at halftime, Tim. We have a penalty. What do we have? Yep, we got a penalty on the play. See what we got. Blocking the back or hold. Five. 
10. There it is. A hold. Big penalty. Big penalty on the Patriots. That's going to back them up a long way. So we might still be first down, though, I believe. First in a good ways. Snap, snap. Hollingsworth, 14 thrower, carrying the ball. Not much there. Pants corner, second corner was beat the block by the wide receiver. Was waiting right there, so thrower might have got to the line of scrimmage. And the Panthers are up 28-22 with seven minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. Good shot of the student sections now all down along the fence. They're not sitting in the stands. Got down there hollering at everybody. Back to pass, like it may supposed to have been a screen. He's still loose. And Panthers corralled him. Looks like it's going to be a screen pass of some type. Panthers. And I think he lost several, lost several yards on that one, Tim. And running for his life. Six twenty to go. By getting charged up in those uh, bleachers. Oh, Langston. Langston. Hendricks. He's trying to get everybody charged up. Getting up there on the table. Getting, <laughs> go get some fire in the stands. So we got third and 18. Holding penalty. A huge stumbling block by the Patriots. Back to pass. Bubble screen, number 26. Good job of defending that. Yeah, no. 26 is uh Morehead. Say, yep, Morehead, Morehead was made, right there. And, Morehead made the uh, uh, Amari Hodges was hustling number 78. Came from the middle of the field over there to get in on it at the end. 26 was Cameron Patterson. He was looking if he could have got another block, he might have uh, had some positive yards at the old uh, bubble screen. There's Brad's youngest. Brady. Patriots a punt from their own 30. Did he miss the ball? I believe he missed the ball. Never seen that before, but he's scrambling, he's running, now he's not going to get much. He went to punt, and I believe he missed the ball. Did he miss the ball, or he, did he? Either that or he faked it, one of the two. It wasn't much of a fake if that's what he did. No, I, All right, so the Panthers going to take over. We could replay that. Maybe we could tell. We're going to have a I'm change sure of possession we're... here with the uh, Wilcox County. Oh, about a 44. That's right. Panthers are going to take over shop. 4.57 to go. I'm sure we're going to start trying to run some clock here. Try to escape with this 28-22 lead. Panthers got the ball. We're going to have Brady in the backfield. Snap goes to Moorhead. Moorhead's going to gain Picked up a good... What, five yards, five, yeah, six right yards? We got, we got a lineman down. Let's see who we got. One hobbling. That's, that's like Christian that's, Richards. Yep, Christian Stevens. Stevens, yeah. Christian Stevens. He's had some. Had some Dozer, problems. I call him yeah. Tank, but his nickname's Dozer. He's had some issues with an ankle. Yep. So. Little J.R. Goodman there. Yeah. <laughs> Wing right, still in the backfield. You got Grady and you got uh, Moorhead. Moorhead running off tackle, running hard, turning them legs. You get down to about the 34. Be you know, we see number penalty. 70. A late penalty here. So that's going to be an unsportsman like on someone. Not sure who I'm thinking. Not sure who it is. Start to see where emotions are getting near the surface, kind of raw here. It's Wilcox probably showing a little frustration in that the fact that they had a lead and Panthers come back and taking it. We'll see exactly what's going on as they sort it out. It was after the play. Out 
after the play, so we're not sure there. Gonna be against the Panthers. Gonna be against the Panthers. I'm Gonna guessing. back them up. I'm guessing it's a dead ball personal foul. Almost back to Argyle. Yeah, they're moving that way, aren't they? Yep. They're at Travisville at least. Yeah, that's right. Dead ball. A personal foul. That's 15 yards, and that's after the play, so the play counts. So. All right, let's see what the Panthers are going to do here, Tim. They are up 28 to 22. Four minutes, 17 Edmonds. seconds left to go in the fourth Edmonds quarter. coming in the game. He has been known to run that counter again, so. Okay. It, that first down? It's first. Oh, okay. We got a first down. We got a play, first, you know, and so it's still first and ten. They just spotted it back. Yards okay. Back. So it's a dead ball. We made the get, we made the line to gain. So, all right, we go to the sweep to the left. Moorhead looking for a hole. He bounces outside. He might be off to the races. He cuts back against the grain. A good tackle by the Patriots to hem him up down at the 25. Huge run by Moorhead. Good job. Look at the lead blockers out there. He had three lead blockers and. Number two for the Patriots did a good job to turn him back in. A huge run for Clinch County. Underneath four minutes, clock running, Clinch at the 25 yard line of, of Wilcox. Wilcox had Clinch in a hole, but Moorhead gets him out of it with a long run. Wing to the left again, backfield mates of Moorhead. The Dorsey. There is Dorsey, gonna, gets it. it to, Give it to him up the middle, and he's a load straight ahead. He's going to pick up about four or five, it looks like. See so your chain crew over there, Jason Shipes leading it. Big Iffy, Craig. Well, not Craig, but Greg. That Greg over there, yep. the orange. Got the orange on so you can Greg. see him. It's like Leon Morrison's hat. Yep. I hadn't seen Leon tonight. We'll have second and six. Brady Moore heading the backfield. Kind of a delayed snap. Looked like people were not really sure. Didn't have a big line surge there. Looked like people maybe were not sure the ball was going to be snapped. But Moorhead makes a little something out of it. So it's going to be third down. Probably about five. Yeah, looks like it was just his five. 2.35 to go. And it's going to use as much of that clock as they can. Don't want to let, let Wilcox have another shot if at all possible. Didn't matter if they didn't score as long as as long as they just don't get the ball back, Coach Tyson will be happy. Yep. Here we go. Here comes the sweep again. Cuts it up. Moorhead does. And he's gone. There he touchdown. goes. Touchdown, touchdown. That's right. going to that's gonna, that's gonna pretty well do it there. That's going to put Clinch up 34-22. Big sweep. Big hole. Good cut back against the grain. Are we coming all the way back? We got There's a, a flag on the play. <laughs> Imagine that. Golly. Imagine that. Blocking the back of a hole, probably. That's what it's been all night that. long, That's Tim. It. That's it. That's it. Yeah. But it's against the Panthers, so Wilcox still alive here. Third, 15. Two minutes to go, clock running. Holding on the Panthers, okay. Third and 15, it's in four down territory though, so we can, they can take the clock down close to a minute if they don't make the first down. The backfield, 
Here we go again. We got uh, looks like Michael Walker this time back there. Walker on the run. Pretty good game. Except seven or eight. And Tim, there's um Atkinson's getting beat by Lanier County, 28 to 14. Wow. We're gonna have we got a player down for Wilcox. So we got 127 to go. Panthers are third and long from the Wilcox 22. So, all right, well, gonna be coming right back. Yep. Fourth and 13. So, there's a clinch may have taken a time out here to set up a play to try to at least. Here's Taylor, one of my boys. Lose the chain. Saddled up to a pretty little gal, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. That's his homecoming date. <laughs> okay. Well, he does good. The boy's got he good, does. He's yeah, got yeah, good he's got, anyway. He does have good eyesight. Him and Thomas both have pretty dates tomorrow. Good right, little girls. Go. They going to get the pictures taken tomorrow and invite Austin go out to eat. And Lily's going to, like I said, Lily's going to drive them. We're going to be at um, She's the chauffeur, huh? back and forth. We got the pageant tomorrow over in Hay Hire. Okay. Ella's in the Honey Bee pageant. So Lily's going to be the Uber tomorrow. Yep, Lily's the Uber. Clinch decided to take a field goal here. That way it would give them a nine-point uh, nine lead, which would uh, definitely put them out of reach. Let's see. It has to be a two-score game. Then. Ball's on the 30, Big or kick. will be on the 30. 40-yard kick. Robbins is up. Man, I think he's, he's got, got the distance. distance. Wide oh, right. Wide right. Wide right. Golly. It's just wide, though. So, folks, don't go anywhere yet. Yep. We still got a ball game on our hands. 28 to 22. Clinch on top. A minute and 22 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Hang on if you got yep. any fingernails left. Yep. This is not. This is so we're. Uh, not been real pretty either way. No, it hadn't. Nevertheless, Clinch holding that six point lead. And again, I want to mention that I want to thank Jerry J's, Tim. Man, they brought a good barbecue supper out yeah, tonight sure for all of us. I get, um, I there's get, P. John. Yeah, every morning I go to Craig Jerry, Gaines. I go to Jerry J's to get one of them big hubcaps that called biscuits. Yeah. Wilcox last gasp here. Noah Hollins was rolling. He throws a short pass and it's overthrown. Clock's gonna stop at 119. But it's gonna be second and ten. Wilcox got a long way to go in a short time to get there, like old Jerry Reed said. Yeah. <clears throat> Wilcox got to have some big chunks. A five yard pass not going to help much right now. Yep. Time for a little razzle dazzle, something, half back pass, double pass, something. Hollingsworth in trouble. He's throwing it up in the air. It's going oh. to be, oh, wow. Almost interception by number four for the Panthers. That's Michael Walker. It was a good job by the receiver to, to kind of get away with a little bit of pass interference. Yeah, he I did. To pull his arm down. Yeah. But nevertheless, they're down to two shots now. Third and ten. But a minute and 12. Ball left. on the 20-yard line. Had not moved. Minute and 12 left to go. Panthers get away with this, and Coach Tyson probably picked up a couple of gray hairs tonight. I guarantee it. Third and 10. All right, they better get it on the. Hollingsworth Tisdale on the backfield, and Clinch is coming. They're going to come. There's the draw. Tisdale's Ooh, running. He's got, running. Got by three, he's running. four. He's still running. All, all the way, way down to the, the 45. And he wasn't many steps And we had going. him in the backfield, Tim, and broke two tackles and then another two. I mean, he. He wasn't many steps away from going no, the distance. No, from going the distance. Great call by the coach. Caught us in a full blitz, and uh, that draw <laughs> opened up. Tisdale back there again with uh, Hollingsworth back to pass. Long pass down the left sideline. Mm. Be out of bounds. I think he was throwing it to Katie. She could have caught it. Over there with the cheerleaders. Like shit. Them pom poms. They don't want to mess up her nails, though. Yeah. You know, you got the homecoming that, dance tomorrow right. night. That's right. Spend a lot of money on them. Yeah. 
And the queen don't catch the pass. No, like the that. queen's not supposed But old Shady Katie would. Allen's yep. got lots of basketball rec stories for her. You know, they used not to. You couldn't go play defense until they got to half court. Yeah. And little old Katie would just be sitting there waiting at half court, and Brent would say, now, now, now. And she would have to go attack the person with the ball. She's like a little gnat. Yeah. She was always smaller than everybody. Yeah. Allen started calling her Shady Katie. Holly's worth of the pass over the middle. Ooh. Oh, broken up by Tisdale. Pass a little behind the receiver. And a little high. It was. It may have been a small window to get it into, but yep. they weren't able to get it there. 50.8 left. 28. 22, third and 10, ball on to 47. Last time Wilcox was in this position, they ran a draw play and got about 35 yep. yards. Oh. It's been an entertaining game. Man, Allen just texted me. He said to tell everybody that he loves everyone and appreciates everything, all the prayers for Lexi and his daddy, because his daddy's not doing really well right now yeah. either. And um, everybody just continue to lift his whole family up in your prayers. A bit of fake. There's the screen. I thought it would be a double shot. He's running. Got to get out of bounds, and he does to stop the clock, but it didn't, didn't pick up many yards. I'll be interested to see the stats after this game. I'm not, yeah. sure. I'm not sure who's got more yards, either team or the officials. <laughs> yeah, there's been a lot of penalties tonight. It's going to be fourth and eight. Picked up about two. They about, they about faded those flags they've thrown so much out here in the, in the lights there on the ground. That's going to have to be washed for sure. All right, we got fourth and eight. Last gas for the Patriots. Hollingsworth back to throw. He looks, he looks, he looks. He's going to heave it long down the middle, and it's not almost picked off, but it's a good thing probably it wasn't picked off. Yeah, the Panthers will better field position now. But it doesn't matter one snap, it should be all it takes. And yep. Clinch County has dodged a bullet tonight. Wilcox came to play and took Pan the Panthers the distance here until they took control late in the fourth quarter. With a 28-22 lead, 38.2 left. One and Tim, snap. while we while we got a second, I want to remind everybody to just be checking out our my Facebook page tonight, my mayor's page, and probably my personal page. We're going either tonight or in the morning, we're going to get a post about um, Chad Robbins and all he's doing right. with the with the hurricane victims right. down in the Bahamas and how you can support him and help him and um, everybody just do what you can or prayer or give money or whatever but it's it's you know that when you give it to, to Mountain to Sea Ministries it goes where it's supposed to go um, and he's already got first-hand knowledge of who it's going to and what it's going for uh, there's so many times, and, and when you donate money to his his organization, it doesn't go to paying salaries. And, um, hold on, what you need? The, I was going to look see who we played next okay. week. Okay. Doesn't go to paying salaries at all. All the money goes to, to helping where it's needed. So, But, Tim, that's going to that's gonna wind it up. The Panthers have been behind just about all night long. They jumped out and scored first, but then Wilcox got ahead of them and stayed that way until right here in the fourth quarter. Um, the Panthers win 28 to 22 over Wilcox. The Panthers will move on to four to one, four, four wins and a loss, and Wilcox will four, fall to four and one. Yep. Panthers next week will be on the road, right up the road, Atkinson County. Uh, Atkinson uh, coming up on the short end of the stick tonight to the Lanier County Bulldogs. Last we heard, down by two touchdowns, but yep. folks make no mistake about it. The Wilcox has come a long way in the last two years. Yeah. Were, uh, they, uh, they took uh, the defending two-time defending state champions the distance tonight uh, before Clinch was able to gain the momentum and able to go ahead and pull this thing out. Yep. All right, Tim. Well, I've enjoyed it, and we'll uh, maybe maybe Alan will be back next week. We'll get you back down on the sidelines doing the interviews. We we um that's always a good good part of the program doing the sideline interviews. Let's you know what's going on down there on the. On the field, but um, a little different perspective. Yeah, that's right. But um, but even if he's not, but we want to continue to pray for him and lots of lots of needs in our community. Lots of people sick and been in wrecks and lots of things happening. Um, continue to pray for everyone in our community and and um, we appreciate all of our our sponsors and what they do for us. It wouldn't be possible without them, Mr. Berrien and 
and um, all of our crew. Right. Um, there's lots of lots of work behind the behind the scenes that nobody gets to see. But, um, but Tim, again, I'm glad. Good being with you tonight, yeah. and uh, thank everybody for tuning in, and we'll see y'all next week.